I am muted. Hey, ladies. Hi, everyone. Yeah, since I forgot last week, I've triple checked. <laughs> See how long oh, my I gosh. Here. There's so many here. Hi, Eileen and Melanie and Louise and Penny, Maggie and Paula and Deborah. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to wait for everybody to type, or should I scroll? I'll scroll. Then I'm going to say hi to everybody three times. And both right. best are here. All right. I got to refresh. It's 30 seconds in my, and I'm still not live on YouTube. Wow. Hey, Paula. Hey, Susan. There we go. Okay. Live chat. Goodness gracious. You, and Penny, I don't know if I said Penny. Hey, Jean. Hi, Kathy. I think Kathy's the only one I missed so far. Yeah, I didn't type. I did. I did not. I'm I a slacker. I Hi, Kendall. Hi, Janine. Hey, ladies. <clears throat> Oh, golly. And Kathy? Which Kathy? Kathy Beige. Kathy Hi, B. Kim. I don't know where that came from. Hey, Lucy. <laughs> hey, Kim. Tammy. Hi, Lucy. Tammy. And Took. Christina. Hi, Took. There's Took. There's Lisa. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Nice. nice. And Christina. And Drew. And Drew. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to sound like, you know. And Drew. <laughs> I know, right? Ah, I love her name. One of our sons is Andrew, and I always wanted to call him Drew, and nobody would. I like saying her name. Hey, Deb. Hi, Deb. And Debbie. You guys are coming in in pairs. It's awesome. And Deb. Everybody got fresh coffee? I do. I do. I, I need it tonight. Look, it's still steaming. It's so fresh. Oh, you remembered to put the cup on. <laughs> I did. Jeez, Lou, thanks a lot, Mags. Oh, right, but the other day I was in there because up here, my little Keurig sits right by the sink in this upstairs bathroom, right? Because I'm the only one that uses the bathroom. So it's kind of like, I don't know, it's a weird space now. But anywho, mm -hmm. I'm brushing my teeth. And I thought, well, I'll make a coffee while I'm brushing my teeth. I stood there and brushed my teeth, you guys, and got all done, put the toothbrush away, went to reach for my coffee cup, never put a cup under it. And it's literally right there at my elbow. I felt pretty dumb. <laughs> hey, Natalie. Hi, hey, Natalie. Hi, Karen. Yeah, it was, yeah. it was pretty clever. Hi, Lenny. One of my finer moments, I got to say. So how's everybody's weekend? Anybody get snow? We did not. I've just decided we are not to have snow this year. Oh. Hi, Rosie. Hey, Rosie. Hi, um, Malcolm. Yeah, Rose, or Rosie. Maggie's about to get uh, snow more days than not for the next week. Six I'm out getting, of eight. Yeah, I'm getting a frozen mix. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it'll be super fun. Yeah, but they didn't say, it didn't say how much, though. I mean, it could just be flurries every day. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I would take flurries every day. We don't know until, you know, we get up and look out the window. Hi, right? Sherry. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, I don't know, I don't do metric. Let's put it that way. Metric means nothing to me. me um, I don't know what 40, minus 40 Celsius is in Fahrenheit. I have no clue. Yeah, we've had our, it's getting cold. It's getting good and cold. And Shelby's back. Hey, Shelby. Hey, Beth. <laughs> Deborah got rain. Wow. Yuck. Hey, Colleen. Hi, Angie. Hey, Angie. <clears throat> and there's Sherry. Nice. I feel like I messed up Eileen and Elaine again, too. I think I made them one person again. Oh, yeah. I feel Eileen, like quit bragging. Quit bragging. It was only 81 degrees here today. She can have that. I don't like it. When yeah, I, I couldn't do that. Like I, I, I need the cold weather in the wintertime. Hi, Colleen. It can't be the same in Fahrenheit, Beth. No, it's not.
I'm sitting here like trying to how to figure out how to say that intelligently and it's not coming. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's not. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with it can't be the same. <laughs> minus 40 is the same as minus 40 as far as Google says. Oh, there must be a point where then they match up then, but most of most of it isn't like R32 Fahrenheit is not 32 Celsius. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm just going to be wrong. <laughs> I'm just going to go with what they're all going to Google now. Yep, that's what yeah. Google says. Oh, I'm, I'm that's that's what is like, girl, I'm going to prove it to you. She just sent me a screenshot. <laughs> I'm not even going to open it. <laughs> I just got the notice that I got a message from her. I'm positive it's a screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you have it. You got it. <laughs> right. I think um, R32 is zero degrees in Celsius, R32 Fahrenheit. Hi, Kim. Right. <laughs> right, Melanie? That cold, who cares? Yeah, it was. I thought so. Thanks oh, for joining, guys. Gosh. No, I know I'm not. Yes, going Natalie, I'm going to try to make it to Hobby Lobby this week. And um, last time I was there, they didn't have it restocked yet. So I don't know. Um, but yes, yep. I'll bring it. And um, just remind me that you asked me and I'll give you dibs. On um, what? What? On what? The parchment paper from Hobby Lobby. Oh, they have parchment paper? Yeah. Remember, I, I got Lorna got one, Lucy got one, and I think Louise I, think oh, it was Louise. Yeah. I had three. Yeah, it's like that old, they like coffee dyed parchment paper to make it look ridiculously old. Hey, Karen. All right, I'll call second dibs. Okay. <laughs> I know I missed somebody else. Now it's going to book Kim. We missed Kim. Hey, Kim. I said hi to Kim. I didn't. I did not. That's because you, yep, you got it, Natalie. Oh, Natalie, do you want me? So I'm going to invoice tomorrow. So I have yours from last week and then um, Thursday and tonight. Do you want me to, I'm going to group them all together and then ship. Yes. Or do you want, you want me to ship it now, right? Don't hold it another week. I always manage to confuse hers whenever we text. So I was like, I'm just going to ask her. Cause then I'll just bundle all yours up and just put the shipping quote right in with it. Mm -hmm. Hi, hey, Lori. Lori. Okay, Deb. Oh, nice. The entire store. Cool. Oh. Beth, you've got to do a video and show all your goodies. Hi, Kimberly. Oh, you want me to wait till I get the parchment? Okay, because I'm not going until... I don't think it'll change the weight. I'll go ahead and figure it out because um, it's really light. I don't think it's going to affect the weight. I'll go ahead and figure it if the only thing we're going to wait on is the parchment. Because um, I'm going to try to... Go ahead, Max. I was gonna, Debbie was asking, when will I get an invoice, please? I was going to say, you're invoicing tomorrow on Wednesday, right? Yep. Yeah, and I already have stuff from Thursday sorted out. Y'all have your baskets going already. Um, so sorting will go super quick. Super duper quick. So, yep. And Debbie, I'm pretty sure I have your information. So if you didn't um, feel like I invoiced you once already, just, sometimes the emails just don't like each other and it takes a few times to get them back and forth. Um like Jennifer, it, it's just a whole thing. <laughs> Jennifer and I play, Jennifer Jane and I play tag with emails in It's Ridiculous. Why don't you send Natalie half of my pack and then we can share some the next time you get it. If I don't find it Wednesday, I will do that, Louise, for sure. For sure. But it's like, it is super light. It's not, I know it's not going to change the shipping amount yet. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Beth found a Dollar Tree like yours, the one you get, you go to. Hi, Dawn. Nice. Hey, Dawn. <laughs> Dawn says it's 50% off right now, the parchment. Oh, cool. Hmm. 
So that means it will be, because we're going north Saturday for Lillian's birthday. So I should be able to stop at a couple. I should be able to get a few packages, you guys. If I go Wednesday and if I stop at a couple on Saturday, trying to think, like, <laughs> I'm literally trying to think how many I go past between here and where we're going. Mm -hmm. I think there's two for sure, maybe three. Nice. Right, Beth? Those ones with the, it's like a whole aisle of all the artsy stuff. Okay, Lucy. Yeah, let me see how many I get. And then we'll, um, we'll go from there. Yeah, that's what I thought, Lisa. Oh, yes, I did, Tammy. Thank you very much. <laughs> I did. I was going to message you later. Yep. Gotten some really cool things in the mail. I don't know. I'm hanging off on, uh, I'm going to do a, I'm going to try to come on and just do a thing. We'll see. <laughs> Hi, Tamar. <laughs> Wow, Lisa, hold on. Let me pull up Pirate Ship. Do you remember? Um, do you happen to have the invoice handy? Do you know what date it said it shipped? It'll make it quicker for me to find it if you have a shipping date. Or wait, let me see. Hold on. Maybe I can just search you. Hold on. Lisa Smith. Um, it looks like I've sent you two, one on the 4th of December and one on January 1st. And let me click it and see what it says. The one from the first says it was delivered. And the one from the fourth says it was delivered. It was actually, well, yeah, it says it was delivered on the 12th. And then the one that shipped on the 1st says it was delivered on the 8th. Hi, Christine. <clears throat> so that's what I have. Hi, Melly. Hey, Melly. Hey, Christine. Oh, Kathy got her box today. Wow, that was quick. Yeah, it doesn't even make any sense. Mm -mm. Hang on, Melly. I still got it open. I'll look for yours, too. Hold on. <clears throat> a package got to Scotland before the same, same type of package. No, actually, a priority went to California. Yep. Oh, Is shoot. Melly, I'm spelling your name wrong. Darn it. Hold on. I know her last name, but I don't want to say it because there's a reason why she doesn't, you know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. Hang on. I'm spelling it wrong. So it's not pulling you up. I got to scroll through and look. I know I just sent her one recently too. So she shouldn't be, there it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, duh. Turn the vowels around. Ding dong. Okay. I almost spelled it out loud while I was typing. That would have been genius, huh? <laughs> um, let's see. So I just sent you one on the 21st. And I sent that you. That probably has the box of stamps in it, right? Mm, no, because it was no. just a couple days. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I sent her one on the 8th. It says it was, ex that's not been delivered yet. From December 8th, all it shows is that it's been accepted. So that one is in transit somewhere would be my guess. Let's look at the other one because I sent her two on December the 8th and mm -hmm. the other one has, now how does that make any sense? The other one's been delivered <laughs> on December 8th. Yep. One was delivered 
and one is it only shows as accepted. And I can tell by the amount that it went as priority. They were both priority packages. That's ridiculous. I think the priorities are taking longer than just regular yep. first class, but I know you can't send everything first class if it's too heavy, right? Yeah, yep. Melly, do I have you in Messenger? I can just send you the link to what I just pulled up. Hang on, you guys. I'm sorry. Give me one second. Let me see if I can find her in Messenger quick. I can send her this link. Do, 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 Well, and if you remember, they, they, the post office said that they weren't even going to catch up on old packages until the end of, end of uh, January. I know, but it's still like ridiculous. No, I know. That's the only part of it that irritates me is it's just so, like you send two on the same day and one makes it and one doesn't. Hi, Lori. Maybe I don't have her on. Hey, Kathy. Kathy Berg. Hey, Kathy Berg. How are you? We got two Kathy B's in the house tonight. Right, again? <laughs> hey, Becky. Yeah, Melly, I don't have you in Messenger, I guess. If you want me to send you, I think Jim might just be getting home. I'm not sure if I heard him pull in the drive or not. So we may have some dog participation. So, but yeah, Melly, if you want to um, shoot me a message in Messenger, I can send you this link later. She's a Lou. Hey, Becky. Hey, Lori. It makes you postal. <laughs> right. Oh, my gosh. I don't think at this point that's going to offend anyone. Oh, you're welcome, Angie. Yeah. Oh, thank you for saying that. Oh, my gosh, you guys. That stretch came out of nowhere and almost a ginormous yawn with it. Sorry about that. Um, do you remember when I asked if anybody wanted, you know, a box of book guts? Um, I have an enormous amount of book guts. <laughs> so if anybody needs book pages, now would be the time to type me in chat and just, just, you know, just a random me. I'm sitting here with pen and paper. <clears throat> Glynis wants to know if you could let her know when hers went out. Um, Glynis, I'm not sure I've sent you one recently. I think we were, it's packed and ready to go, but then you only have like one small thing. So I didn't know if I should open it up and add it to it. I haven't shipped to you for a while, but hold on. I'll look. Hi, Sandra. And Lisa Smith said she got the small things of stamps that she um, ordered, but she said she's talking about the stamps that were um, oh, they were the stamps that were still on paper, but she's talking about the big box of stamps she got one night. Like, like ink and what? I'm so confused. Which remember the night you brought out all the stamps? Yeah, but I may have to go back to her invoice or go back to that video because I'm not sure I understand. Hmm. Lisa, I made a, may have made a mistake and not shipped you what I was supposed to send you. Because I know Glennis got a big box. She big box. and Glennis is asking about her German hymnal. Yeah, we haven't invoiced that yet, Glennis. So it's not in the box because I have an invoice for that yet. <clears throat> Do you love your guts? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, oh, Cindy, like it, no, you should, Cindy, you should have gotten um, an email with your tracking number. Yours went out yesterday. No, not yesterday. Saturday. 
I don't think you're, or it was today. It might have been today. Hold on. Hi, Amanda. Back to the regular. <clears throat> I like it went today. Yours went out today. So you should have an email with um, your tracking number included. It should show as accepted. Hey, Amanda. So. I was able to get a few out today from last week and we'll nice. see how long those take. Right. I like this being able to just pull this up and answer questions right like on the spot. Feels super efficient to me. <laughs> <laughs> it does. I like it's yeah. so much easier than all the messages and emails and all that jazz. We they can ask, I can answer. If there's a misunderstanding, we can figure it out. I like it. Up oh, Janine says, might as well ask about my items and invoice LOL. <laughs> you might as well. Um yeah, see, I mean, I know a lot of people think this is uncomfortable or whatever. It doesn't bother me. Um, and like I said, it just, I like it. it. It just doesn't bother me. And I know we're all on the same page that way. Um, Janine, mm -hmm. yours I was going to invoice tomorrow. Um, I'm looking at it right there. I think you're like, I, I weighed it, but I don't remember. It was either just under four pounds or just over four pounds. Hi, Cheryl. But of course I didn't write it down. And I don't remember. I think it's under. I'm looking at it and I feel like it's under the four pounds. So I can send it first class, I think. Hi, Pearl. Because I was going to do yours and Natalie's on Thursday. And then I thought, well, that's dumb because I'm going to be back on tonight and we're going to do invoices again. So if you guys got anything tonight, I could just bundle everything in one. Hi, Cindy. Can't remember if I said hi to you or not. <laughs> Lori has her grandson watching Petticoat Junction. I didn't even know you could watch that on TV anymore. Me either. <clears throat> Yep, the mystery ones have gone out, Tammy. Most people have gotten them. I think there's a few of them still floating around. <laughs> Your male lady is laughing, I bet. Oh, Eileen got her patty box. Nice. Okay, Lisa, we'll, we will message. I know I have you on Messenger. I will go back through a few of your invoices and look and see if I can find that. If you can remember about what date that was. Um, and I'll go try to figure out which video it was to which stream it was. And I'll kind of go through that and see if I can find it. You're hilarious, you know, Paula. I think so, Kathy. I think yours is, you have a box. Hold on, I have it open. Kathy Berg. Yours, you had one yesterday or Saturday? I did, oh my gosh, I did so <clears throat> many last week, you guys. She's asking if she's up to date, too. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. <clears throat> oh, oh, yeah, then I'm assuming she before means, I did. <laughs> I'm assuming she means shipping. I'm going with yeah. that. I'm going with it. Yes, yeah, so you're shipped on Thursday, Kathy. Mm. And it's in, see, this is so weird. On Thursday, there's a whole bunch of them that show delivered already. And then like Sandy's is still in transit. Kathy's is still in transit. Eileen, Eileen, did you get your one, your latest one from Thursday? Because on my end, it says in transit. Hi, dear B. So weird. Louise said, Patty, you sold the stamps on December 28th. December 28th. Thank you, Louise. Stamps. Oh, nice, Lenny. She says, um, on a happy note, I received my package today. 1228. <clears throat> Perfect. Thank you. And I need to look look for. Hi, Sandy. Box. Hey, Sandy. Of stamps for Lisa S. Got it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> We'll get Eileen a says PayPal calls me every day and asks if I was okay if if I didn't use them today. Right. Let 
Wow. That would be cool if you got it and they just haven't updated the system on my end yet. I would be totally okay with that for a change. <clears throat> Okay, Tammy, I will get yours. I don't know what's going on with yours. I will get it squared up. I don't know if, I don't know. I have no answer right at the moment, Tammy. Totally stumped. Because your stuff should all have been invoiced and should all have been shipped. Because I know I don't have a basket for you. But maybe it's in a box. I don't know. I feel like I know there's because there's only like three boxes because I'm sitting here looking at them. There's only three boxes. So and I know your name is not on one of those three. So let me figure it out. OK, cool. Are we good? More shipping questions while I have pirate ship open. It looks like we're good. Looks like we're good. <laughs> I haven't seen anybody else ask. Oh, Kim said, how's my status? Kim. Kim S. Kim S. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me go back to page. Oop, there's one. I sent you one on Thursday. And it says in transit for my end. I feel like I might have sent you two, though, Kim. Let me go to... Um, if they're recent, because the ones that went today, I just printed those labels yesterday. So most of those I'm going to remember. Nope. Looks like Thursday. You might've had one, you might've had two last week. So there's one on Thursday for Kim. One for Melissa on Thursday that she got already, but not the one from December, which makes no sense. Oh, Kathy, you still have another one in transit, too, from the 20th of January. Here's another one for you. Kathy Berg? Yep. So yeah, I got the there. package with the ledger and the paper packs and books, she said. Okay. Yeah, you must. Yeah, and then your one before that was the 19th. That's the next one. I sh the next older one I show for you is the 19th of January, and that one shows delivered. So you've got one en route. Hi, Suzanne. Oh, I am liking this. If we disappear, it's because I click the wrong thing, though, just so you guys know, because I'm doing all of this on the same, <laughs> the same screen as StreamYard. Shelby said, you were making me jealous, so I checked my mail, and I got a patty box, too. Yay! <laughs> Eileen's last one is still in transit. Okay. And Kathy said, Michigan is so bad. Yep. Oh, and Colleen, I did get your email about... Um, invoicing so i will catch that up tomorrow too i did finally find it i get so much junk email in that email it's like i just i have to dig and dig and delete and delete so if you guys ever send me an email and i don't respond there's two reasons one i didn't find it or two i didn't have an answer so i try to respond when I have them open because otherwise I have a tendency to forget to come back and take care of it. So if you ever really need an answer, email me again, please. Hi, Betty. Could you please post the link in the form for me to enter the market? Honey, there is no form. All I need you to do is shoot me an email. The email is right there on the screen. If you would just shoot me an email with your um, your YouTube name, your real name, and your zip code, that's all I need. And I invoice tomorrow on Tuesdays. Um, we sell twice a week, and I invoice once a week. Um, 
and I use the square. So you don't have to join it or do anything. It's just like any other online shopping. You just click the pay now button and it walks you right through the process. And I have it set where it doesn't save any of your guys's um, card information. I have it set so that you can't save a card for future purchases. I don't want that responsibility. So, yep. So there's that. All I get is your address so that I can ship in your emails. Your email address and your shipping address is all I get. So there's that. Square is getting ready to set it up. They're, they're working on setting it up so that you guys that use PayPal will be able to use PayPal to pay on the Square. Otherwise, um, some people who have the PayPal debit card, you can use that to pay, but you can use any um, debit or credit card. Yep. It's pretty simple. Pretty, pretty simple. And I like it. There's a lot of built-in um, securities with it. So like if you guys try three times and get the information wrong on your end, it closes it. You can't even get into the invoice. I have to re issue the invoice and stuff. So it's just, I like it. There's a lot of securities built in. Yeah. She just answered that Louise. I think maybe we may have misunderstood. Do you mean the, the seller's market, the vintage market? <clears throat> and again, there's no form for that either. I just need you to shoot me an email and let me know that that's what you're interested in. We're getting ready to work on the February one and get the list ready. So I just need to square up with um, the regulars <laughs> and see um, where they're at. And then we're going to open it up and um, start accepting new sellers. Hi, Gigi. Well, hey, Gigi. <laughs> yeah, well, I might have been. I might have been wrong too. I thought with, with with Patty, she was asking about if she buys, how she pays. Yep. Either way, no worries. I needed to discuss the other one also, so it was on my list. <clears throat> Louise was in my head again. All good. She spends a lot of time in my head, and maybe that's why I feel crowded <laughs> in there. <laughs> maybe I really wasn't congested; it was just crowded. So. Anywho, you guys ready to get down to business? I mean, fun. We ready to? I'm ready. Are you ready? It over here. Um, so I have a couple of different um, old celluloid. Well, two of them are celluloid. I don't know if the other one. I feel like it is, but it's not the celluloid that we're. I don't know. It's I've. I don't know. I'm hesitant to call it celluloid. I'm reaching over there to feel it. I'm hesitant to call it celluloid. I feel like it's more of a paper substrate. But anyway, there's two celluloid ones. Um, I've got the poetry books. I've got tons of cabinet cards and I can definitely go back to the shelf and pull more. Um, All right, before we start, Glennis has one more question. Have you I don't think so. Sent me anything since November? I don't think so. I will double check though and let you know for sure. But I do have, and the reason I'm saying I don't think so is I have a big box sitting here all packed up, taped up, ready to go. Um, and I just needed to reach out to you and see if you want me to send it and you want to start another box or if you want me to open it and put um, the few things remaining, see if I can get them in there. Otherwise, I'm going to have to upgrade to a bigger box because this one is so incredibly full. So full. So you can think about it a minute. Hey, Karen. And, Hi, Karen. Um, just let shoot me a message. I think you did send me a message and I just haven't had a chance to get back to you. Cause again, I didn't have a concrete answer for you. Yep. You're good, honey. No problems. Um, yeah. So I think that's where I was with your question. Okay. So do you guys want to start with the photo albums? Do you, oh, and I have some really cool old encyclopedias. Oh my gosh, you guys, they're, they're really pretty, really pretty. I brought those two um, and a few old um, kids books if we want to look at them. 
Lorna. <laughs> okay, everybody officially freak out. Lorna's here. No, yeah. just kidding. Just kidding. <coughs> she said not to freak out, though. I know. That's why I said we should. <laughs> Destroying books. Because, you know, I'm not good at following the rules. Hi, Barbara. Welcome. She's new to the channel. Hi, Barbara. Welcome. If anybody has any questions along the way, don't hesitate to ask. Um, if Maggie and I don't see it or if we're in the middle of something, the girls in the chat will, will answer questions. Everybody's super friendly, so don't be bashful. So, anywho, do we want to start with poetry books? Do we want to do a couple of old books? Do we want to do... Um, cabinet cards and I have both sizes of the cabinet cards we've got oh good grief little ones and big ones we could do those because if you guys don't vote I'm just going to pick mm -hmm. one and I'll probably start with the heaviest thing because if we do the heavy things first then they're out of here and I can go get more heavy things out of the trailer Albums, poetry, books, cards, photo album. So there's two albums. Okay, so no. photo albums it is. And then maybe we'll just hop. We can do a little bit of hopping. I'm like, hmm, I was going to just like say that confidently. And then I was like, yeah, no, maybe not. Um, Hi, Melinda. Welcome. She's new here too. Hi, Melinda. So, yep, heavy, yeah, the heavy stuff. <laughs> no, Barbara. Yeah, no registering is necessary. All I need you guys to do if you're new is just the email on the screen right there. If you'll just shoot me um, an email at that address with your real name, your YouTube name, your zip code, because then I know which country you're in. Um, and that's it. Then I ship, I invoice, I don't ship, I invoice with the square. So you don't have to join anything. You just use any credit or debit card and send your payment like any other online checkout. Super simple. Um, we're here Mondays and Thursdays for sales and I invoice on Tuesdays and Wednesdays and then I start shipping every day until we're all caught up. Hey, Chona. Hi, Chona. So, yep. I like to keep it simple, easy. <laughs> so these are the typical. Is that close enough, Maggie, do you think? Um, maybe just a tiny bit closer. Okay. I was thinking, should I try to do three piles, do you think? You could do three piles, yeah. Okay. We can do an A, B, C. All right. Yeah, it looks like I still have room. Okay. Karen Johansson said, just got my mixed media box. Patty, are you going to, um, I'm not sure, lead a show? How to do it? Yep, we're going to work on those together. I'm waiting for, I think they've all gone out. So probably the end of next week or like maybe next, not this coming Tuesday. You know what I mean? Seven to 10 days there. That sounds better. Seven to 10 days. And we can work on those. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. I had a couple of ah, really good inspirations for a couple more of those. So I want to see if maybe we want to start doing those, like maybe, I don't know how frequent we'll see, because I don't want it to become like a whole thing, but especially through the winter, I think it would be fun. So, but we'll see, but I've got a couple ideas. So all right, let me do, I need an ABC. ABC. These are going to be, um, this size is $4, Maggie. Okay. Please. So for everybody who's new, these piles are going to be labeled with an A. We'll have the A pile. We'll have the B pile. And we'll have a C pile. There we go. Hi, Renee. 
Hey, Renee. So Maggie is going to type in cabinet cards, $4 each, go, something like that. Maggie's in blue. There's only three girls in blue. So you want to watch for Maggie. And she'll type in the go, and she's going to look for the first person with A, the first person with B, and the first person with C, and they'll get these, and then we'll go on to the next ones. Do you know what the sizes are? Lenny wants to know. They're approximately four by six, I believe. Hold on. So we'll measure. These two are, these two are different. So four and a quarter by six and a half, and this one is four and three eighths by six. So we're gonna call them roughly four by sixes. Okay. I'm just waiting for uh, YouTube to catch up. Yep. Oh, and just so for the for the new people also, we um, use StreamYard. So what you see in chat is not going to be what we see. You're going to want to be in in uh, live chat. That will help. And if you take your cursor over, like if you wanted to pause the video, there's a little word that says live. You want to make sure that the red button is there. And if you notice that you're really lagging a lot, which is typical, just keep refreshing. Just go up to the top and use that little arrow thingy, click refresh. Um, and or just literally pause it and then turn it back on and click that live and it'll speed it right up. It's almost like refreshing, but quicker, I think, for me. All right, I'm going to put it in. Yep. And some of the other girls have little tips and tricks, too. I never... I don't know. It's too complicated for me on a phone. So if you have, if you're on, if you're watching on your phone and you're having struggles, just type it in the chat and the girls will help you out. Okay. Um, Beth Andrews A and B and C goes to Debbie Ham. Beth A. Oh, he looks like a school mom on that. Doesn't she? <laughs> but look at the expression she has. A pardon me. Right. She was totally like, excuse me. <laughs> mm -hmm. You just did what? <laughs> okay. Melinda Melinda's, um, says, B, do I wait longer? She was way after my soul. So, Melinda, as soon as you see my go, I'm going to put CC. It's going to say ABC, $4 each, go. Now, as soon as you see that, you want to you want to have ready what you want. Say you want A and B. You put A and B and hit enter as soon as you see my um, post for it to go. Hope that helps. Mm -hmm. and, and don't, I mean, we, Maggie and I have been on the other side of this. We know how frustrating the lag can be. Yeah. So just give yourself a chance to get familiar with the lag and because the your your video is like on mine, I always have a lag between my video and my chat. They don't lag the same. So it takes a little bit to get kind of used to that. You'll get the timing down. So just don't get all frustrated. Right. And you are and you usually see yourself either like first or, or second, but that's not how um, yeah. It actually is. You see that because you're you're putting it in right after you see my post, but there could be others that, you know, yep. are in there before that. Yep. So while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and talk. Um, so that's why we use the StreamYard to call the order of purchases because StreamYard takes um, your guys's chat and like say three people hit in the same second it'll actually break down that second and put everybody in proper order so when you guys come back and watch the video tomorrow what we're calling today is exactly what you guys will see tomorrow in the chat oh you're welcome melinda 
Yeah, it's it's frustrating, especially when you're new and you don't understand it all. It it gets it it is frustrating. We know. Okay, I'm gonna put it in. I still, even after all this time, I can be at somebody else's sale and get so irritated. I was first. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Isn't it interesting how some of them fade out? I know. All right, Debbie Ham's going to take A. And Renee Jensen's going to take B. Okay. And it looks like C is still available. Thank you, ladies. Okay. This poor thing. She just looks not happy. His face really is there, I promise. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's like the corner where you've got I think your um light is the brightest. Mm, that could be. Paula wants to know, is anything on the back of C? Nope. Okay, and Beth K says frame versus album, maybe, Patty? I don't know what she means. You lost me, Beth. I need more yeah. details. <laughs> oh, I see what she means. Was it in a what? frame instead of in a frame? Oh, oh. Okay, haven't put it in yet. <laughs> <laughs> they, saw they saw Paula. Blue. They saw Paula, yeah. <laughs> nope. She meant the one that was left. Nope, Paula. It's blank, too. She's looking for the advertising on the back. Oh. Sometimes that's the best part. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Christina gets A. You know, I was thinking, Mags, um, Christina Hill gets A. Okay. Okay. And Suzanne Fuqua gets B. Suzanne. Hey, Suzanne gets B. She's a cutie. Okay. Um, I'm Let's going to pick up each one and hold it up. And that way, when they okay. see that C down, they'll know that when you see C go down on your YouTube, then you'll put it in. And I'll put it in. Yeah. Good idea. That'll give us an even footed timing for everybody. Okay. So here's A. And I'll show the backs that way too. There's B. And here's C. So Maggie's going to watch for me to set it down. Oh, there you go, Paula. There's one with the ads. There we go. So when she sees me set it down, then she'll put it in. I was like, how did we used to do this? It's been a minute since we did these. I know it has been a while. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. That should work better for everybody. Those are sold. Okay. Um, let me go back though, because I have to scroll. And there are so up. many photos, you guys. Don't if you're not getting in yet, just hang tight. There's yeah. so many. Right. All right. Debbie Ham gets C. Wow, a lot of them wanted C. Um, yeah. Beth K. Oh, that's why. Beth K gets A. Okay. And Karen Johansson gets B. Okie dokie. Thanks, ladies. All right. There were quite a few, so maybe it'd be a good time for me to tell them what how it how it um, it shows up. Sure. So after my go, um, it was Debbie Ham, Christina Hill, Beth Kay, Natalie Randall, Suzanne Fuqua, Karen Johansson, Karen Thompson, 
Beth Andrews, Cindy Lou Who, Paula Fowler, Lenny P, Paula Fowler again wanting D, um, Kathy Behe, and then my sold. Okay. Oh, she retracted it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's A. Plain black, or plain black, plain back even. There's B. Oh, those are all nice ones. Aren't they? Look at the back on that. And that's pink, oh. by the way. Just so you know, this is, this is a pink background. And then here's C. See, I think he's kind of handsome too, but I think Christina Hill might think he's more handsome than I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me scroll up. Wow. Holy moly. Holy moly. Okay. Natalie's Randall's a first B. She gets Mr. Hottie. Yep. Just kidding. It was the advertising. I know. Okay. Suzanne Fuqua got C. Got it. And Beth K gets A. Got it. Oop, come back here, you. Okay. All right. Oh, look at these two cuties. So there's A. Uh, Back is plain. I whoa. can't tell. I think that's his two daughters. Or oh, I bet it's siblings. I bet it's a brother. Could be, yeah. Maybe yeah, because they all look two sisters. Yeah, they all look young. When I turned that, I did see where it looks like it's got wait, where'd it go? There it is. See right there? It's got like some little holes or something in it. Oh, some yeah. sort of marks right there. But anyway, yeah. this one has the advertising on the back. And then C is these three gents. I like the ones with the scalloped. And then plain on the back. That would make a great um, man's card. Wouldn't know? it? I think this would be some of the, the French industrial line from Tim Holtz. I like these with that. Lori said, it's rare to find handsome, LOL, from the last set. I know. <laughs> Agreed. All right, those are sold. Okay, Karen Thompson gets A. Guarantee. Okay. Um, Beth Andrews gets B. A. And Karen Johansson gets C. Karen Joe. Thanks, ladies. Hi, Rhonda. Oh. Hey, Rhonda. How are you? Ooh, stay there. Okay. So here's A. And this one is pretty faded. I wanted to I say, almost, say faded. Yeah, some of these though, it's not so much that they're faded, it was in the developing process. So there's A. There's oops. Yeah, blank on the back. So here's B. See, and here's another one that would look great with the Tim Holtz French Industrial line. Mm -hmm. Advertising on the back. And this poor thing, she just looks sad. It's been a long day or a long uh -huh. year. And then plain on the back. Hi, Becky. I see you. Hey, Becky. 
Every time somebody comes in, and not to poke fun, Becky, totally not poking fun, but you know when kids are little and you put your hands over your face and you're like, you can't see me. <laughs> Every time somebody comes in and says, can you see me? That's right. right. I'm scrolling back up to see if she like said something or because I don't see her saying anything. Yeah, no, I don't see her saying anything. I've gone way up. Yep. Right, Rhonda? I was going to say that. I removing my comments. Wow. What did you do to make YouTube mad? Hey, right. Leslie. <laughs> okay. Let me... Everything is weird these days. Everything. Let's see. Debbie Ham gets B. Debbie H. Got it. And Lori gets C. Rhonda said she looks like I feel. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. I was like, yep. So A. A is still available. Yep. A. Becky, you might not want to type in all caps because sometimes um, it doesn't show up because that's the trouble I was having um, early, you know, a few months ago when I was modding, I was typing in caps and nobody was seeing it. So, um, wait a minute now. Where, uh, Christina wants to know where she was in there. Yep, you're fine. Hold on, Christina. I have to scroll back up. You were right after, um, you were right after Debbie Ham. And Kimberly, hi, Kimberly. Kimberly Ray was right after you. Okay. Okay. So I showed him B, and it's plain on the back. There's, or I mean A. Here's, here's B, plain on the back. And here is C. And she's there, just a little ghosty, and plain on the back. It would be weird to see a long past relative in one of these photos. That's what I think every time I look at this these cabinet cards. Mm, I agree, Becky. They would be great for like cards. yes. Yeah. Okay. I can't think of the word I want to use for like some of the like people who do the spell books and stuff. I think these uh -huh. would be good for too. Okay. Uh, Cheryl Goble gets A. Hey, Cheryl. And Got it. Cindy Luhu gets B. And C is still available. Oh, I already had a tag. See, that tells you how long I've had some of these. They have tags on them. Okay, so... Here's A, these two Aww. little kiddos. I love all the little kid ones. Me too. Plain on the back. This one is not really a cabinet card. It's um, a photo. Yeah, it's just a photo. photo. But he's still a cutie. He's cute though. Plain on the back. Here's this one. Plain on the back. Wow, that's a lot of kids. Yeah, it is. Five of them. Oh, I hit enter before you put it down. That's okay. The Book of Shadows. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. With five girls, I watched Charmed so many times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then all the channels would, would put it on. Yikes. Okay, Kathy B, he gets A and C. Kathy B. So, A, oh, wait a minute. You said B and C, right? B and C, yeah. I almost gave her the wrong one. I hadn't caught up in StreamYard yet. There is an A, there is an A. No, wait a minute. I, 
if I said B and C, that's wrong. It's A and C. Okay. That's what I thought you said the first time because that's where okay. I Yeah, I did. Okay. A and C, Kathy, B, he. Okay. So B is still available? So let me just make sure. Yeah, B is still available. Okay. I don't see any Bs. Perfect. I love how this one is done. Oh, I do too. That nice. Looks like one of those old West. <laughs> yep. Okay. And this one is just a little cameo shot. And then this one. See, with the faded again, I just think that's cool. And then they did the pretty cool. That is, yeah. And then it's pink on the back. Oh. Okay, Suzanne Fuqua gets B. Suzanne It's B, right? B as in boy? Yes. Okay. Uh, Karen Johansson gets A. Karen Jo. Okay. And Debbie Ham gets C. Okay. We'll do a couple more rounds of this and then we'll do one of the albums or an album cover and then maybe a couple books and then we can come back to more of these. Okay. So here's a, look at that furniture. So that's like <laughs> a table with like a rug over it. So there's a, and these lines are scratches in it. You guys, just so you know. And then there's this one. Look at that hair. Oh, it's a hat. Wow. Never mind. It's a hat. It's a hat. Yeah. Okay. So there's that one. Oh, wait. I forgot to show him the back. Blank. Blank. Then there's this guy. You talk about a mustache. Holy cow. I think he's got more hair on his face than he does his head. And that one's blank. Becky says she loves the burly mustache man. I know, but geez, a Lou. Looks like a ponytail, right? <laughs> All right, Lisa Jameson gets B. Hey, Lisa. Don't know if we said hi to you. Well, I don't know if I did. So that leaves A and C still available. Okay. Okay. So here's... Wait a minute. Beth Andrews would like A. Okay. So that was this young guy. C is still available. Thank you, ladies. Okay. So we have this little cutie. Look at those big eyes. Mm -hmm. Blank on the back. We have her. See, I love this, the detailing. Yeah. Blank. And then these three cuties. Look at that. Oh, look at the outfits. And blank on the back. <laughs> oh my gosh, we want to crawl so bad. <laughs> All right, now hold on. Right, Becky? I agree. Me too. Okay, Cheryl Goble gets A and C. Cheryl G. A, Cheryl G, C, okay. And then Lisa Jameson gets B. 
Lisa J. Thank you, ladies. Cindy says, do you have an idea on the year of the on these? I don't, because most of these albums, when I find them, they're not dated. Um, but by the I, outfits, I think they're like 1800s. I was going to say late 1800s to yeah. the century time period is where I put most of them. Right. And some of that is due to the fonts and, you know, because like, ooh, that was weird. Did you see my lights just flicker? No, but I yeah, wasn't. my lights just flickered. So it's blank on the back. If I get booted or something, you guys don't go anywhere. The stream will stay up for a few minutes. I'll just reset and come back. They did it again. I don't wow. see it. That's weird. Yeah. If I get booted, I'll be back. Because okay. Maggie can stay in. So there's B. And here's C. Because if I lose power, I'll lose my internet. So, but I'll just. If well, you if I lose power, power I'll send me a message. <laughs> yep. Yeah. If I totally lose power, I will. But if it's just my internet blinking, I'll let you know either way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the one of the joys of living in the middle of the country, in the middle of nowhere, a really good wind and we can be without power. Super fun. Cheryl said hers flickered the same time yours did. Now that's a little trippy. Beth Andrews gets A. Oh, but Cheryl's in Indiana, so it's even more trippy. Wait, start over. I'm writing Cheryl. Beth Andrews, you said, right? Well, hold on now. <laughs> yes, Beth Andrew gets A. Okay, got it. And Beth K gets B. And it looks like C is still available. Okay. <laughs> All righty. So I'll let you see these, but we're going, let's do, let's do, let's do an album. We'll do an album. Lisa said, we have a winter weather advisory out. Yep. We're supposed to get like freezing stuff, right, Lisa? I don't know if we're getting, I mean, we're close enough. I usually get the edge of what she gets or she'll get the edge of what I get. Are but you in I'm, Indianapolis? I'm two hours north of Indianapolis. Two hours, okay. Yeah. Lisa says ice. Yep. And Cheryl, Cheryl, am I right? You're in Indiana, right? See, like Lisa's north of me and I think Cheryl's south of me. Okay. So I don't know about you guys. I love this cover. Absolutely That's love it. Adorable. See, it did it again. It just flickered again. Yeah, if I get booted, you guys, if I can come back, I will. But if I lose power, obviously I can't. So don't anybody go anywhere. Maggie will be here with you. Yeah. This is weird. It never does it like this. This is weird. I'm going to try to ignore it. I'll get it out of my system. Yours is doing it too. Okay. It's got to be something with the power grid then. It has to be. So I'm just not going to freak out over it. We either have power or we don't. Carry sure. Just south of Kendallville? Yeah. Yep. That's what I thought. Yep. So <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> Diane D's traveling to Indiana today. I hope she's okay. Who? Diane Yeah. I, yeah. I was waiting for her to message me and let me know she made it. Hey, Beth, can you, by the way, can you message her <clears throat> and find out if she made it yet? Um, so this one is eight inches wide. I'm not measuring what would have been the spine. I'm literally just measuring the cover and this is celluloid. And then it's, I'm going to say 10 and a quarter tall. So it's got that dome. This one I went ahead and gutted. The pages were so ratty, you guys. So incredibly ratty. Um, there really wasn't any salvage to them. So this one is just the cover. Is and this a book cover or an album cover? It's an album cover. Okay. Yeah. And when I found it, it had a few images in it. Um, but 
not in the room. Yeah, but um, I absolutely love this. And somebody has repaired it right here. I know I sneak peeked this one quite a while ago. Um, yeah, had um, felt on the corners and it's pretty well gone. They've rubbed through to the book board. Yep, you can see that they've rubbed through to the book board. If the closure is gone on it, but I still think this would make an adorable album. Um, and it took so long to put it on the table because I kept thinking I really wanted to do something with it. But um, considering I have several more on the shelf, I can part with it. So if you don't mind, Maggie, I'd like to do this one as an offer up. Sure. You guys can see the crackle in it. So if you wanted to come back with some... Um, I would probably clear wax it first if I was going to do that. And then you could put antiquing wax on it. So then any place where it's light, it's going to pick that up. But the antiquing wax or really watered down paint will get down in the cracks for you. You wouldn't have to crackle this one. See all the cracking in it already? The natural. Yeah, that's cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I like that. There's, yeah, there's um, the actual image. I just think this is just so pretty. It really is. Yep. And we'll just start it at a dollar. Yep. So and for it's anybody who's not familiar, um, let's see Evil Patty. Oh, Evil Patty is not pretty. <laughs> Evil Patty does not have many friends. Let's put it that way. At all. It gets ugly quick. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. Totally lost track. The, um, talk about the offering up to newbies. Oh, yeah. It's Maggie. Did you put it in? Yeah, she put it I in. Did. So then you just put in, you know, it's, it's similar to a bidding, similar to bidding. Just because of different state legalities and stuff, I use different verbiage. Ouch. Let's see here. Let's put these over here. And you said a two and a half minute clock, Mags? I did. Okay. Because I'm just awesome like that. Because you're just special like that. <laughs> I know what you want before you even. I like it. <laughs> Look at Beth. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't come out very often, though. Just don't mess with my kids. Don't mess with the kids. Right. Some people aren't smart. They got to find that stuff out the hard way. Hey, Jennifer Jane. Hi, JJ. 30 you work away. You just be comfortable and relax. You Thanks are for letting us know you're you. <clears throat> right? And Maggie and I will be sure to let you know if anything really pretty orange comes out. And we'll say, Jennifer. <laughs> It's orange, but yeah. you were just lurking. But you're lurking. <laughs> but you're lurking. Oh, I know what I have this over here. I wanted to ask them about. I keep forgetting about this. Because I can totally derail myself in the blink of an eye. Oh, I did. As we all know. I don't want to make a mistake tonight. I have the book handy. No, I don't. That's a fib. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. I can reach it. If of we course you do. You keep it right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is going to go to Christina Hill for $20. Awesome. Thanks, ladies. Thanks, Christina. Melly, your 20 was after your 18, after Christina's 20, if that makes sense. <laughs> I was like, wow, <laughs> that was a circle. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was funny. So 
I know I showed this a long time ago. And because, you know, Patty has a little bit of a hoarding slash collecting situation. Um, this is all about how to make hats and all the different. So like you just enlarge these patterns and you can make all the hats, all the hats. But I know some of you do like many things. I know some of you have granddaughters that play with Barbies and I thought maybe these could be sized. Um, I know a lot of you do mannequins and stuff like that. And I thought if you could figure out the right ratio, these might help with that sort of thing. So I just want to know if anybody's interested in this. I just think it could be really, really cute to see how it like, it's just, it's really cool how it's put together. Gather, yeah, see, I'm a collector. But I don't mind owning the hoarding. I do have a little bit of a hoarderness to me. Don't we all, though? Yeah, but I don't know. Just some more than others. I get to disguise it as I'm I'm gathering for you guys. Right. <laughs> and I hoard it all until I decide to share. <laughs> Cindy says yes, yeah, so she must be interested. Okay. So I'm going to flat price this. Okay. So I thought you might. if nobody, well, you, I'll have you put it in since we have at least one interested. Um, I'm just going to put 12 on it. Okay. And first me is going to get it. Yes to hoarding. I know, right? Okay, that's sold. Okay. To Karen Thompson. Awesome. Thank you, Karen. Okay. So that one goes there. So these are going to be offer ups. These, let's see here. All right. So all of these books are illustrated James Whitcomb Riley's. Um, do you want to look at them one at a time? But they're all, did I say they're all illustrated? I lost track. Yes. Of are they all poems though? Yes. <clears throat> yes. So these three, I think were printed like as a set and I don't know if there was supposed to be more to this set or just, just these, but look how pretty those covers are. Yeah, those are pretty. And then here's your spines. So I guess what I'm wanting to know is do you guys, Oh wait, maybe this one is no, it's illustrated. Maybe did I fib? Did I fib? When you say illustrated, you mean pictures, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. This one has a few, but not... Not too many? Not too many. I feel like the ones in here... Yeah, these. this one, that's why I had this one separated for, in the piles. This one isn't the ones that we all... Go a little bit gaga over. Yeah, this one's missing some in the back, so we'll hold that one back for a second. Um, this one is meant, I think, for kiddos. See how the text is different? Oh, I like that. Mm-hmm. Illustration. They, yeah, they're so nice. Oh, yeah. And this paper is that nice... Um, cottony paper. Mm -hmm. It's just, it feels worn. It feels broken in. You know, it's been 
touched a lot. Like you get all the little grubby finger marks. It's just yummy. Here's that one. So what I want to know is, do you guys want to do these? Because you guys are the ones dealing with the lag. Do you want to do them offer up or do you want to do them flat price? All right, let me ask. Flat price or offer up? Because if we do them flat price, I'll do two at a time. If we do them offer up, I'm going to do one at a time. Yeah. Makes it easier. Mm-hmm. Less confusing. Flat, flat, flat. So far, that's all I got. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and make these three that are blue one pile and then i'll show you roughly what's here okay so, do, okay so i did just show this one and we'll make this the b pile and we'll make this the a pile Okay, so this one is Child Rhymes with Who's Your Pictures. Oh, it's been a minute since we've done books. Um, five and a quarter inches wide and eight inches tall and just under three quarters of an inch thick, including both covers. And I love the inscription. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. And let's see here. Hi, Sheila. Hey, Sheila. Copyright is 1898. So there's some of the illustrations. So these are all done um, like plates. Some are hand drawn. Well, they're all hand, you know what I mean. Um, these are more of, I uh, these are probably engraved plates, but they almost have a wood block kind of look to them. But look at these. I love these. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, all the pen and ink ones. That's what I meant, pen and ink. See, even through the poem, like, it just, it looks like whoever had the book drew them in, but they didn't. It's how the book was printed. This is pen and ink. Just so cool. And then the headers. And you have the poetry, <laughs> which is not a bad thing. This is right. a pond scene. They're wading through the pond. See more of the drawn pen and ink style. Look at that one. That's cool. And we're not even halfway through this book. I know. I, I mean, I, I did say, I really like that one. Yeah, look at this one, the plane mm -hmm. on the swing. Mm -hmm. That cute. Yeah. <laughs> like wow, there's a lot of illustrations in that one. Uh-huh. This one is full of them. It really is. This one is a little loose um, at the spine. Like nothing's in danger of falling out. It's just um, they're com the glue is coming undone from that webbing in the back. I've lost all my words tonight, you guys. I have no words. None. It's Monday. Oh my gosh. You know, the webbing, it has a name and I can't think of it. It's gone. 
So that one will be A. And then B, I showed you the reader while I was yakking and deciding what we were going to do. The last copyright on this one is 1914. The first one is 1883. Oh, that's a lie. The last one is 1915. So, yeah. And these are still done in plate format. And there's there's a lot in here also. Every few pages, there's a yep. look at them. <laughs> yeah, those are cool. <clears throat> so these are kind of like, to me, I have no problem taking these apart. I mm -hmm. look at these, especially, I don't know. I look at them as a beautiful pad of paper. I get the poems, I get the mm -hmm. um, plates, and I have a cover. It's kind of like the gift that keeps giving. Lucy said mull. Yes, thank you. Yes, the mull. M-U-L-L, -L. it's awesome. Speaking of which, I have a ginormous roll of that. You, you do? That that I'm contemplating sharing, but I will ask in a little bit if there's interest in that. Contemplating, it's huge. I mean, like, I don't think the whole role probably wouldn't even fit in the screen right now. It's enormous. Wow. Yeah, but I'm being a little bit of a greedy Gus about it, so I don't know. <laughs> well, if it's that big, yes, you are being greedy. I am being a greedy Gus. I will own it. So there's your cover on this one. And it's not, it's not embossed, but it is very lightly debossed. That's around pretty. all the paint there there you can see it it's mm -hmm. just very very lightly debossed so these are going to be i'm waffling let's do them for 18. okay and i want waffles yeah, and that will be the price for um, any of these mags. Okay. Until we, well, for these six, let's put it that way. I'm waiting for StreamYard to, oh, there it goes. Okay. Christina Hill will get A and Natalie Randall will get B. Okay. Christine Hill for A. And then it was Debbie Ham, then Melly Kay, then Melinda, then Sheila, and then my sold. Okay. Natalie R. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. And this is why I'm glad they said flat price them because I know what they do when we leave them up to their own devices. Look how pretty this is. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm all in at the cover. <laughs> yep, that's really pretty. She's so pretty. Is this mm -hmm. translating? Yes, YouTube is pulling it up the right color. It is just a nice faded navy blue. Mm -hmm. It's not like in your face navy. It's just a nice navy blue. And then this is like a, um, like not powder blue, but like a dusty blue, I guess. And then yeah, the same shadow. as in StreamYard. What? It's the same as in StreamYard, the colors. Okay. So, and then there's the back. Then this one. This one is going to be very, I mean, the formatting is the same as the first one. It's just different um, aesthetic. It's very much more romantic. Oh, yeah. Those pictures are pretty. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. I have to check the copyright. Don't let me forget to do that, please. Okay. We'll see if I remember. Look, like, look at that one. I love that. That's really pretty. And this paper um, has a little <laughs> bit of a sheen to it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. But I, I mean, it's it's a nice weight paper, and it's going to do anything you want to do. You're going to be able to. Um, coffee dye, ink, gesso, clear gesso, whatever. It's just going to be nice. It's not going to fall apart on you when you get it wet. It's nice. 
Like, look at that. It's so moody. Oh, yeah. And this one. Look how it's, like, inset over top mm. of, like, it's like this is laid over. Yep. I just love that. They did half the collage work for him. And then her. Wow. Look at that one. This one with the two kiddos. Very Let's cool. See. So that's really great. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <coughs> copyright <clears throat> is eighteen ninety nine. Nice. So there's a B. Now this. Okay, all I, well, go ahead. Sorry. I no, you're believe. fine. I love that cover. <laughs> Were you surprised it's, I said that? It's a mess. No, yeah, you. I love it. Yeah, it's almost a boiled book situation. See how it's like it's peeling and chipping. Yeah. It's just a mess, which makes me incredibly happy. There's the back. This is what it used to look like. It used to be dark like this, and this used to be even darker. But now we have this situation. And these are, I'm going to say everything is debossed. It's all debossed. So let's see if we can find, and this one is leaving schmutz all over the table because the spine is a mess. Look at that. So copyright on this one is 1920. Is 20 out of copyright? Yep. Yeah. So do you see how much brighter this paper is than the last one? Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that illustration. Look at these guys. Little, I can't tell. I don't know if they're uh, gnomes. Pixies. They're little pixies. Pixies? Yep, the pixie people. Ah. Uh. So these all have like a black and white watercolor or not watercolor oil, oil painting look. See, so yeah, I feel like these, do you see what I mean? Yep. So, and the book is just absolutely full wow. of them. Every few pages, you've got the beautiful plates. And then you've got like at the beginning of each, um, I don't know, they're poems, but these are almost like stories. Cause this one is for kids, you know, it's called the reader. So they're almost like little chapter stories. Hi Jody. Just that one. Look at them. <laughs> hey Kathy, Jody. Kathy Berg is back. She said, nice books. Thanks Kathy. Yeah, I happen to love, like, look at that one. How cute is that? I know, right? Look at his little face. Oh. I just, I love the illustrated James Whitcomb Riley books. They never, ever disappoint. Those are awesome. Yep. And there's so many, I mean, yes, you can copy mm. these, you can scan them, you can print them because they're out of copyright, do your thing. Um, you might want to double check and make sure all his stuff is copyright free. And the reason I can't sit here and tell you is because these have so many in them. I don't copy these and print them. I just use them. I was going to say, if I had that, I would just use the originals. Yeah, I just use the originals because there's so many in here. <clears throat> So look at that. Wow. So there you have it. We'll have an mm -hmm. A and a B and they'll be the same price as the first round. Yep. Oh my gosh. The schmutz is everywhere. Everywhere. I tell you. Okay, those are sold. Whoops, why didn't that? Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on, she says. Okay. 
lost the chat there for a second. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Suzanne Fuqua gets A. Oops, I can't even spell her name. Hold on. I could Suzanne. just say Suzanne F, make it easy on you. Oh, I didn't even spell Suzanne right. So. No. <laughs> you said A, right? Yes. Okay. And Christina Hill gets B. Okie dokie. And I'm jealous. <laughs> Both of those books are beautiful, but I love Look at these. Melinda. She's getting the hang of it. She was next in line. Yeah. Good you job. Melinda. Good job. Okay. So, A. Good grief. I feel like he's in the middle of a cornfield. That's cool. And then there's the spine. There's the, oh, there's the back. And then this one again is going to be, I feel like this one is more farm life. I didn't look at the title. What is the title? What is this one called? Yep. Farm rhymes. Yeah. It's probably going to be <clears throat> farm images, Patty. Dawn says, interesting fact for you. The author is from Indiana. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Most of his stuff will say who's your pictures on them. So if you're not from Indiana, it's pronounced who's your, not hosier. <laughs> A lot of people, oh, look at those hosers. No, it's who's your. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Oh, Christina, you don't have to do that. What did she do? She said my gift to you, Mags. Nice. Look at the cow stuck in the mud. Cows always get stuck in the creeks. Always. Louise is going to throw rocks at me. Oh, thank you, Christina. That's really sweet. Family picnic or cookout. Can't tell. I think he's cutting a watermelon. Yep, he's cutting a watermelon. Picnic. Very cool. Melinda says fried cornmeal mush. Anyone? Mm, I love it. corn. So it sounds kind of good to me. I love cornbread. And I'm always in for Yeah, cornbread. I like cornbread too. Look at this one. See, this is us, you guys, going through the stuff. This is us. Every one of us. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, I love these images. These are all very farm, very family. Look at with the horse. Yep, yeah, this one's nice too. Like I said, they just never ever disappoint. Um, copyright, the last copyright on this one is 1901. Okay, so then we have this one, which is the Child Rhymes. This one um, was gifted in 1923. Let's see. This is really nice bright white paper. Um, copyright on this one is also 1920. So this one, I think, yep, it does. It has, so this is just a difference. Hold on. So the one that we did... The blue one with the really cool. So this one is going to have this book is going to have the same illustrations as this book. Oh, cool. This is just a few years newer and in really nice condition. Took said she just laughed so hard, Patty, when you said just us. Just us. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look at here. Look at the pixies. I want a row of pixies on my bed rail, please. Oh my gosh. If I, if I dream that tonight and remember it, oh, it's not going <laughs> to <laughs> Look at, there's a the little guy with the little pigs again. See? Aww. They're just so cool. I just love these. And this paper is really nice in this one. 
it's almost, it's like one-sided, you know, the cardstock with print on one side, it's almost that weight. It's just really, really nice. This is going to be perfect for anything you want to do with it. And I did forget to say too, these are all sewn signatures, so they're going to come out as totally usable in your journals as <clears throat> also. So there's those two. Yeah. This one is probably the thickest of all of them too. Okay, those are sold. Okay. Okay, Christina gets B. Got it. And Don M gets A. Okay. Hey, Gigi, did we say hi to you? I said hi to her. She's been here a while. Okay. I think you, I think you did. Okay. All righty. Let's do another. <clears throat> Let's do another. Um. So there's these three. I need to do these three because they're going to wind up on my shelf if I don't. Oh, yeah. Those are awesome books. These, you guys always love these. Um, and these are really hard for me to flat price because I love them as much as you do. So. I know I have at least one. Yeah. This one is not <laughs> illustrated. I just wanted to show you. It's not illustrated. Copyright on this is 18. I think it's 96. It's kind of. I'm going to go with 96. It's a little bit over inked. Um, but this paper, you guys, is so nice. It's not just pulp. This has a nice um, fiberiness to it. And it's, can you, it's sturdy. Yeah, you can hear it. Yeah, it's not, it's not dog-eared. It's not, um, doesn't have that broken in feeling. So again, I feel like you're going to be able to dip this in liquid if you want to, to dye it. You'll be able to use it as, it'll be great collage. Um, it's called the memoirs of Jesus. So, you know, you're okay, you know, verbiage, but this one is all about the cover. Yeah, that's a beautiful cover. So, you know, Look at that gold leaf. There it is. The gold leafing on it. It's just so pretty. Were you going to ABC these or how are we going to do these? Well, I don't know. I might, I don't know. Uh, struggling, struggling. This was um, gifted for Christmas on this little girl's Magdalene. Magdalene? Magda We're going to go with Magdalene on her first birthday. From her aunt Edna, 1907. Isn't that cute? <laughs> yeah. So these are almost never copyrighted. You always have to really look for the coffee copyright, the copyright. So I like when they're um, gifted and dated. So, but look at and these are metallic. Is it? Yes, it is. Picking it up for you. So these are all leafed. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. I think I'm just going to flat price these, Maggie. Okay. And then there's the back. And this one does have a little bit of a situation. You notice the back cover stayed on the table. There's there's the front cover. And these wow. are purple. I don't know if they're coming across. I think this is coming across lavender, but these are definitely yeah. all shades of purple. And these... So for you purple girls, there you have it. And then this one, oh, and measurements. So the first one is four and three quarters by seven and a quarter. This one is four <laughs> and a half by six and three quarters. And then this one, I believe is German. It's 
four and an eighth by five and three quarters. And it's a little bit thicker. It's half an inch. Um, I, look at that. Oh, that's really pretty. Isn't that cool? And I just, mm -hmm. I love that it's worn away and got the white aging on it. It's Took just says it's been pretty for perfect for uh, prayer journals. Yes. Yep. Oh, taxi service. Huh. So there you have it. So, and this one is not illustrated. It's just got really nice, I guess they're poems. I'm going to go with poems, poems, prose, something along that line. Um, I don't remember if this one had, I'm looking to see if this one has a copyright. I don't remember that it did. A lot of times these don't, it's hard to find them. Page 12, this is in the right place. So the first actual text page is, is loose. Um, the editor, da, 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 da. I don't know. Um, the only date in here is 1881. I, that is not the print date that I'm aware of. It doesn't state that it is, and it doesn't state that it's the copyright. So I'm just saying it is the only printed date in the book that I'm seeing. Glennis wants to know if you could hold the page up close. Of this one? I'm She just put it in there, so I'm assuming. Yes, and this has a little bit of that sheen to it also. People that do, that are, that love poetry, they can tell at a glance if it's like, po I'm never sure the difference in how to like distinctly know the difference or identify the difference. That's what I mean between poems and poetry. And it's not that I'm not, it's not that I'm afraid to not be correct. I just don't want to tell you guys incorrectly and then have you get it be, get it and be disappointed. So, but anywho, there's those. I know what you guys normally, you know, go a little crazy on these really nice illustrated ones with these covers, but we're going to dial it back because this one's in pretty bad shape. Um, so I'm going to flat price these and we're going to do these for 15 a piece. ABC. Yes. I'm getting my, getting my letters. Oops. A. B. And C. Oops. Bring you back down here. There we go. All right, those are definitely souls. Okay. Let me go to StreamYard. Suzanne Fuqua gets A. Got it. Lorna gets B. Okay. And Glynis gets C. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. Hi, Carol. Hey, Carol. Carol. You, were after, you were after Glennis. Okay. I think I'm going to put those in that basket. Okay. So let's look at another photo album. We'll change it up a little bit. <sighs> How pretty oh, is that's that? That's pretty. Yeah. And there's almost none of the felt left. There's just enough threads left in here to have um, the color. It looks like velvet to me. Yeah, velvet. Yes. Oh my gosh, felt. It's velvet. <laughs> Jeez, I told you guys. I'm telling you. 
Is anybody else struggling? Like, I feel like my brain is jello half the time. I do that every time I, I'm oh on gosh. live when I'm crafting. But it's like my daily life now. I can't even just say that it's like, well, I turn the camera on. I've lost, you know, my mind is gone. It's not even that. It's just like, I don't know. Just, I don't know. It's weird. So anyways, this one is celluloid. Except where, you know, the velvet is supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So... This one would be so cool with a metal. This was um, painted, but I think I'm assuming it was painted. I don't know how they decorated the celluloid. I don't know if it was a decal, a transfer situation. I don't know. But if you had a tiny little silver band of something to put down there or like a pewter metal banding, I just think that would be incredibly awesome. Hi, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. So this one does, I did leave the pages in it. If you don't want the pages, I can take them out. Not a big deal and send you just the cover. And it will, you know, if you're international, it will make a difference. Um, if you're in the U S and you're filling a box, it's going to take up that much less space. So it's entirely up to you. Um, they're all blank. They're not fancy. They're super plain. But, you know, if you want to do a bunch of altered ones or use these as your covers or whatever, these plain ones are nice because it's a blank canvas to work on. So Is it heavy? Got, what? I'm sorry, Max. Is it heavy? Um, Not like super heavy, but probably two pounds. Okay. So, I mean, internationally, it would make a difference to leave all those pages in there. So, um, and they do have the gold gilding on the side. And just to be fair, I want to show you the other one that we have. Because we're I'm going to do these as an offer up. So, then there's this one. And I just have these three tonight. Oh. Yeah, and this one is, and I don't think this is celluloid at all. At first, I thought when I found it. I really thought it was, and it had just lost its finish, but this is paper. This is some sort of paper substrate, and there's no, you know, there's not that celluloid sealed over top of it. Wow, that's really pretty, though. Isn't that pretty? Colors in there? Yeah, I absolutely love this cover. And see, this is one of those, if I flat price this, you're going to get the Patty doesn't really want it to leave price. <laughs> so sometimes offer up is better for you guys. Okay. Before we start that offer up, I have to ask Jody. Okay. Jody, were you, you actually took a nap while somebody cut your hair? Oh, a lot of people fall asleep at the hairdresser. Really? She said, I've been yeah. up since 3.30 a.m. I got my hair cut during my nap time. Yep. I've seen a lot of people fall asleep at the hairdressers. I wouldn't trust them. <laughs> Me? Well, I'm too much of a control freak. There's no way. <laughs> so, okay. oh, and this one does not have the closure, just so you know. And both of the metal pieces for the closure are missing. So there's that. Okay. Just so starting at a dollar? Yes, please. Okay. Do you fall asleep? Mm -hmm. Oh, Christine S. is also falling asleep getting her hair cut. See? My favorite thing about going to get my hair done is the wash. <laughs> but I don't want somebody who gets in there and just does this. You know, yeah. what I, mean? I want them to. <sighs> like a full head massage. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. <clears throat> Where your whole body relaxes. Yep. -er. <laughs> Jody, I just want my hair short. I don't really care how it looks. I'll just put on a baseball cap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And that's Jody. Yep, that is Jody. Oh, me too, Christine. I 
mine's getting long again, and I said I wasn't going to let it get long. I have already to just come out of the Yours shower. Yours has to be like by your waist by now. What? Yours has to be like by your waist. Oh, it's past my waist, but I've trimmed it. So now it's a little lopsided. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason I keep it up. I almost trimmed mine and then I thought, no, better not. <laughs> it was so long I couldn't get a hold of it to just trim it. So I did the let's turn upside down thing and then, <clears> you know, chase. So I trimmed across. So it's like now I have like, you know, that shorter in the front, longer in the back thing going on. Yeah. That's what I was afraid of. It would be. Um, yeah. long, I, I was afraid to be longer in the front and shorter. <laughs> oh my gosh. But the split ends were horrible. I had to get, and I think I took like, I don't know, four or five inches off of it. It was ridiculous. <clears throat> I figure someday I'll go get it cut by somebody who knows what they're doing. I know me too. Or when Rosie's here, I might have her stand like, sit in the chair and have her stand behind me and do like, they'll pull it like almost to your crown and then twist it and pull it straight back. You know what I mean? And then yep. cut. I might do that too. That would, that would even it up and not give it a like whoosh, straight across half look. Natalie, I, mean, I cut my bangs all the time myself. I don't I trust. Like, right. Trust. Yeah. I feel like my hair is long enough. It doesn't matter if I mess it up when I finally go get it done, they'll fix it. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> That's going to Christina Hill for 19. Beth, you were right after Christina with your 19. Just so you know. Awesome. Thanks, ladies. Thanks, Christina. Yay. Okay, let's go ahead and do this other one. And then commercial break. And then commercial break. Okay. And then I have a teaser for them while we're at commercial break. Yeah. So here's this one. And again, but we're going to call it the correct thing. The velvet is gone. It is coming apart right here. The nice thing about this is... I'm not going to give it away, but if anybody wants to know how they make these books, this one has the secret. <laughs> oh. How they make these covers. The secret is totally revealed. Just saying. So, this one, these are really nice. Oh, each page has, has like yes. a... Okay. And do you see the metallic on it? Yes. The foiling? Yes. That's really pretty. And they're all decorated. Oh, wow. yeah. You can see them as I turn them. Okay. They're pretty. These are the ones that would be, I, I just love these. I'm not, <laughs> I like when I find <clears throat> pretty pages and they're damaged because these are the ones I like to do. Um, the photo page collage um, sets for you guys when they're pretty like this. I have quite a little stash over there and I'm gathering stuff up. So maybe by next week, maybe I'll have Rosie do them because she has, she has a fresh look to things. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I have it all gathered up. So maybe I'll have her put them together for us. They'll be just a little bit different than what I would do. Ooh, the lights flickered again. So oh, Beth, Beth said, Patty just heard back from Diane. She made it safe. Just got awesome. there. Awesome. Thank Good. you. Thank you. Thank you. So, <clears throat> yep, there's the cover on that one. And this is like a really, it's, it's gold underneath. And then there's purple over the top. And it's, the gold is starting to show through the purple. Nice. And this, it is. I can't decide if it's nicked right. I'm going to say it's nicked. I almost feel, yeah, we're going to go with nicked. At first I thought there was something stuck to it, but I'm going to go with something nicked. So you'll just have to fill in that color a little bit right there and you'd be all good to go. But it's so embossed. It's so pretty. This wording is ever so slightly debossed, but then all of this is embossed. Melissa said, oh, Patty, that's similar to the first one she made. Yep. Hey, Melissa. 
So, yep, burr. Oh. Maggie's like, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to do something. <laughs> <laughs> it's in there <laughs> oh my gosh i love it <clears throat> she said she used it to make her first journal yep i remember Yeah, those pages are beautiful. The, Aren't they? I love yeah, them. where the pictures go. Yep. Yep, I love them. <clears throat> There's a couple that are, you know, because they get cracked and torn down here at the bottom when they're taking the, the cabinet cards in and out, but most of them are in good shape. Book Could you like paint those if you wanted to? What? Could you paint them? Oh, yeah. They'd be great for watercolor, actually. Nice. <clears throat> oh my god i like when rosie and malcolm spend the night on sale nights she's in there sorting already nice. <laughs> i'm like yippee i like when you sit them on your desk and let them talk to me yeah right <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't very talkative today he's like nope no he kept looking at your other computer and then he'd look at me and then he'd look at yeah it was funny his head was going back and forth like it's like he couldn't quite that. figure it out <laughs> it's when we were watching deborah oh yeah that's right yep Oh, look at Jennifer. <laughs> Whoa. She got it, 15. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. Thanks, Jennifer. Jennifer. Sneaky, Jen. She was sneaky, wasn't she? Yes. <clears throat> All right. Here's that one. Then... We are going to go to commercial intermission, but whilst we do that, I'll leave you guys with this. Well, there, that. Oh, nice. Just to hold the pages down. There we go. There we go. Okay, so, <clears throat> oh my goodness, it is still flickering. Okay, so. Like I said, if I get booted, <laughs> we'll be back. Maggie will still be here. I'll be the one booted. I'll um, be here. Yep. I'll, I'll let Maggie know what's going on if we just keep that in mind. Um, but anyway, we're going to take just a couple minute break. I'm going to put up the commercial intermission banner. And if you guys have anything going on on your channels, in your Etsy's, you know, whatever, whatever, wherever you got something going on that you would like to promote for yourself, for yourself, have at it. And we'll be right back.
Okay, so let's see. Anything going on? Good night, Took. All right, is Kathy Berg still here? Are you here, Kathy? Because she usually goes on Tuesday mornings, her and Colleen, but they didn't go on last week, so I was going to see if they're going on tomorrow morning on Kathy's channel. And then tomorrow night, Lori and I are going on. It's her turn on her channel. Kathy, are you and Colleen going on in the morning? Be on tomorrow at 10. All right, let me grab um, Kathy's link. Here's uh, Kathy's link. She's going on tomorrow at, what did she say? Oh, 10 Eastern Standard Time. And I know Colleen already told me she won't be going on Friday, so it'll be just Kathy tomorrow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, thanks, Louise. And that's Lori's channel. Oh, you're welcome, Kathy. So if you haven't checked out Kathy's channel, please do subscribe. She goes on every week. And Lori and I are going to be doing different things with ink tomorrow night. Inking techniques. <clears throat> Nobody else has anything going on this week, huh? She's a Lou. What's up with wow. that? I'll be working on my January journal and maybe some stitching. Cool. Now oh, no. See Jody's post. Oh, about the kits. Yes, I did. About the little houses. Oh, I have, I have all of mine too, Jody, I think. I think, I think. <clears throat> She's shooting for um, Sunday, Sunday the 31st, I think. Oh, to work on them together? Yeah, I can try. I'm just never sure what's going on in, on Sundays. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Um, 31st, that'll be, so that'll be this Sunday. Um, <clears throat> I just have wow, to find out. Really? Sure. Wow. Yeah, I just have to find out for sure which day we're going to the birthday party, if it's Saturday or Sunday. So, boy, this month went by fast, didn't it? Didn't it? Okay, moving the coffee so I don't spill it all over the table. So, since I put this out here as a teaser, I suppose we may as well look at it, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, that's just a tease? Yes. Look at this. Whoa. And this is not a Peterson's. <laughs> Look, I ah, so pretty. Anybody want to make a hoop skirt? Here you go. Well, not change the that's band not of really a, It's called the imperial skirt. <clears throat> by the way, wow. can you imagine wearing one of those things? Uh, I think it would be fun for dress up, but every day because I had to. No. And there's lots of text pages in these. You need to change your banner. They're 
Oh, yeah. They're yelling oh. at you. Thank you. <clears throat> yes, group participation is required around here in case you guys didn't know. <laughs> so this is called the American, or wait, the Ladies American Magazine. This is dated 1859. These would have been monthly publications. So is that the same where they take the whole year and yep. find it? Yep. Oh. Yep. And these are the fashions for July of 1859. Wow. And I didn't mark them. Somebody else did. Wait, Those are like you. Look at that. And these are usually, background. yeah, steel engraved. And this paper, you guys, it is that paper. It's thin, but it is that paper. Yes, please make me a dress out of it, and I will proudly wear it to Walmart. It's got up some foxing, you've got mm -hmm. some flecking, you've got the transfer. But look at this is a point lace collar, by the way. If you care to make a point lace collar, here's your pattern. And it gives you a materials list. It looks like cut work, too, doesn't it? Kind of, yep. Yeah. Here's an opera hood. Oh, garden or opera. Well, there's a stretch. <laughs> garden or opera. <laughs> yep. Oh, like wow. Your hair. Yeah, mm. this thing is amazing. Look at this. Yeah, look at the waist. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they were skinny anyway to be able to cinch them in that tight. Jody said those dresses would help people stay six feet apart. Wouldn't they just? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Yes, they would. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, I went literally <clears throat> visual on that one. Oh, I bet they were they were heavy, Christine. All the material it took to make those. So Louise, can you say this in French for us, please? We won't hear her, but <laughs> yeah, everybody pretend. Put your best yeah, French. Yeah. Accent. Okay. I feel like it's anglaise, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it is anglaise. I do know that. I don't know what to do with. I know that's border, but I don't know how to. I don't know how to. How to say it? I don't know how to roll that on. I don't know what to do with that. Mm. But this is for a child's dress. Look how elaborate that is. It's pretty though. Isn't it pretty? And this is an opera mantle. It's not called a cloak or a shawl. It's a mantle. Wow. So, yeah, there's all 12 months in here. This thing is absolutely amazing. It's so pretty. I almost like this better than the Petersons. It's just I like the way it's laid out more. And it's smaller, right? No, there. It's about nope. the same size. You're thinking of the big Harper's Bazaar um, oh, okay. from, from Melanie, and those are big, like the Lamode papers, the Harper's um, Bazaar um, fashion ones from the 1800s that Melanie has. Yeah, those are big, but the Petersons are small like this. So, but you've got the, and some of the color, I think some of the um, color, yeah, like this one doesn't have the color. I don't remember how many of them are missing, but there's a few missing. But look at the detail they put into these. That's incredible. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Even like this little... See all the little, just look at that. Yeah. Oh. And that one's a palmetto skirt. I just like that they're all named, like every little thing had a name. Yeah. 
But you see all the foxing on it? Christina wants to know, what's the title and author? It's that one. Oh, that's pretty in color. Isn't that pretty? <clears throat> Got this one. Did you hear me? Yes, I'm going to get to it. Okay. I'll tell her when I get to the front. Okay. And this one's another opera hood. This is a corset. <laughs> it's spelled T-O-U-R-N-U-R-E. Which is dangerously close to torture, just saying. Right? <laughs> just saying. So here's the front view of the same one. So yeah, there's just there's just tons in this. That's very cool. Here's another color one. Some of them look almost like um I never know how you pronounce it. Is it gaudy or Godet or I think it's Godet or Godies. <clears throat> yeah, they do they are very similar to a Godies, yes. And look at this. Then you've got all these different hoods, I guess. We would have called them hats, but hoods. The pretty collars that we see. So whoever gets this, you need to study up on all the fashion terms, all the parts and pieces. Look at this. This one has a color plate on this side. Nice. And then the fashion color on this side. So those would be great in a uh, sewing journal. Wouldn't they? So let's see here. Let's get to the front. And I didn't show the whole book either, you guys. Um, I kind of started in the middle. I kind of cheated. And there was obviously a plate here for this to lay against because it's ghosted, but it's not oh, yeah. here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's still cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, so the date is 1859, and it's just the Ladies' American mm -hmm. Magazine. This one is about to come out, but it's bound pretty well. I will measure it for you. It does have right here in the front where, because the end papers are gone and those first like, you know, copyright page and all that is missing. So it is separating just a little bit right here in the front, but it's still very tightly. Um, the signatures are still tightly sewn. Um, let's see, let's get a measurement on this. It is six and a quarter by nine and a half and two and a quarter inches thick. So here's your front. There's your marbled papers. Nice. There's the spine. And it's leather. And then there's the back with like the perfect amount of wear. Like here's the real color, which is like a nice turquoisey kind of situation and then it just fades because of the wear. Isn't that nice? And then again, you've got just a little bit of the original color. That's cool. Yeah, I absolutely love this. <clears throat> and I think this one is my favorite one. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, that's really pretty. I just really like that one and this plate. The, mm -hmm. So you've got the plates, the uh, steel engraved plates, and then you've got the color fashion ones. I think if I remember, there's three or four of these missing. So there should be 12. For some reason, I feel like there's eight or nine of them in here. Oh, the months you mean? No, no, the, the oh. plates, the color oh, plates. fashion plates. Because they used to pull them out and frame them. That's what they used for wall decor back in the day and um if this had been if they'd been taken out by um 
a vendor or a reseller, they would have taken all of them because these tend to sell roughly $20 a piece. So. Wow. Yep. Are we offering this? Yes, we are. Um, let's do this one. Um, let's not set a timer for it when they're out, they're out. Okay. Um, well, let's do three and a half minutes. I don't want it to drag on forever. We'll do okay. three and a half minutes. <clears throat> um, so but this one's really pretty too. And what did you want to start it at? Um, we'll just start it at a dollar. Look at that embroidery. Wow. Pauline, that's somebody's name. Pauline. This is Emma. Here's the lace. This is the, an amazing book. Yeah. This is the Brussels applique design for a veil or a sleeve. Wow. <laughs> and then these would have all been embroidery designs also for la for laces, I guess. I'm going to just, this is a walking dress. So should you want to go for a walk, please dress appropriately. Look at this. I love this one. Going to school. That's Just the number of plates in there too. Mm -hmm. And then look at this one. You can tell that's the December one, right? <clears throat> yep. It just looks wintry. They're just so pretty. And look how they've all transferred. Offset. There's the word offset. <laughs> I've been searching for, I'm like, where did the word go? Yeah, really, really well done. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Yeah. me, I just finished a, bo a wa bottle of water. Yes. <clears throat> Evelyn, 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 Evelyn has a Y in it, right? Yes. So that would be Evelyn. Yeah, right? I think so. That's cool. Let's everybody make a braided cigar case. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the stuff I like. <coughs> and then you've got all the stories and poetry. Oh, here's one. This is volume two. So they have volumes. Well, it's and what it means in um, the first six months, second half months. Second half months, second six months. I'm telling you, the brain is shot. Here you go, Christina. The Henry White is the publishers. I knew I saw it in there. It's a 30 seconds. <clears throat> Hi, Carla. Hey, Carla. How are you? There go the lights again. Mm -hmm. Glad I found that. I knew it was in there. Natalie, uh, Melanie's YouTube channel is, isn't it Ledgers and Lace? Yep. And I'm not sure. Does she have a store, Annette? I don't think so. Um, 
she, I think she's planning on um, participating in the February market. So um, just keep an eye out for her and holler at her. Um, or you can post it in the group. Natalie, you're, over, you're in the Sacred Mementos group, right? You can post it in there and ask her. I don't mind that at all. Oh, from ledgers to lace. Thank you. There Becky. we go. From ledgers to lace. There we go. And that is going to Debbie Ham for $85. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Debbie. You're going to like I'm seeing that flash now. I know it's weird, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're they're bigger, longer flashes now. It's it's trippy. <laughs> And it's not like um, a light bulb that's heading out. No, it's the whole house. It's the, oh. It's the whole house. Ooh. It's not just up here. So we are going to go from those to these. And these, there really is more than one of those, um, are going to be flat priced. So there's what the front cover looks like. Here's the back covers. There's the spine, and there are five of these. I'm not going to show each one. This is not, a, and I don't have the full set, just so you know. Um, Does that say Chambers Encyclopedia? Yep, Chambers Encyclopedia. Yeah. These are so nice. So, like I said, here's, and they've all got just a little bit different amount of wear on them, which is why I picked these two. You see the different wear pattern, like, but this marbled paper, you guys, is like literally to die for. Though there's different scuffing going on. There's different, um, some of them, the, uh, they, the book block has come loose. Like, see, this one's real scuffed up on the back. This one is the back. And then after that, the biggest difference is the um, illustrations inside. I'd say there's, it's, some have like the, the illustrate, like the illustrations are like consolidated and then you'll go several pages before you see any and then there'll be a whole bunch of them again. And some are spread more, there's a more even disbursement. Look at this night, is crazy math. Go ahead, Max. I was just saying goodnight to Christina. I thought you had stopped. <laughs> See, like here. And they're not like overly illustrated. Here's the bird. There's like just a couple here. You know what I mean? Yeah. But this paper, oh my gosh, it is so nice. This is another one that's like um, a scrap pad. There's just all little bits all throughout. <clears throat> but you've got plants, you've got birds. Um, I know flowers are plants, but you know, you've got flowers. Like here's um, boats. There's just a little bit of everything. There's a little bit of steampunkiness in them. And I kind of flip through them and there's like, I don't know, because they're alphabetical. So like this is here because that's where the plant falls in. If it was a plant that started with A, it would have been in, you know, that book. Cause these are broken up, you know, according to the alphabet. But I just want to show you some of the different um, illustrations in them. And then I'll grab the copyright date and stuff. Um, the paper quality in this is awesome. Yeah, Kathy's asking, is that really lightweight paper? It's not really. It's a thinner paper. And I feel like it's a fiber and a pulpy blend. I don't think it's all pulp because it doesn't feel like um, that dried out chalky that they get. It's not like that. Um it's just really nice. I would totally coffee dye, tea dye. I would collage with this. I would 
fold this and sew it. I think it'll handle folding. I can't promise it because I haven't folded any because if you guys buy them all, then I haven't, don't have one here to play with because um, I only have the five of them. Hi, Gina. So, like, look here at the architecture. I'm sorry, I might as well. No, I was saying hi to Gia. Oh, okay. Hey, Gia. <laughs> so, you see here, another boat. But... Mm -hmm. And you can tell this paper is a little dehydrated, but I also don't feel like these were highly used. I'm not seeing lots of like um, finger smudging. There's not lots of dog-eared pages. They're, um, they still almost feel like they want that, you know, like when people open a book and they're like, oh, I got to crack the spine, which is kind of the worst thing you can do, but they feel like they just got cracked, if that makes any sense. Um, I don't really, I feel like these were put on a shelf and looked at. There's most of them have the pullout maps in them with those amazing old vintage colors that we like. You can totally feel the, um, the indents of the printing. So... Yeah, these are really, really nice. I was pretty excited when I found these. These are 1868. And it's the Chambers Encyclopedia, a dictionary of universal knowledge for the people. Illustrated with maps and numerous wood engravings. And they were... <laughs> these were the way... <laughs> yep. Oh, he doesn't sleep long. He's a stinker. Until he's down for the night, he takes one really good nap, and then everything else is cat naps. Um, but, yeah, these were um, printed in London. Nice. Yep. <clears throat> so, yeah. These, are you, I just, are you doing one at a time? or? No, there's just going to be a me situation. I've got the other three right here. Okay. Because they're just going to be totally random. I just wanted to take the time to really show it to them so they know what they're getting. And see, like, here, there's even, you know, like, filigree lace. That's pretty. Mm-hmm. There's, here's, like, what is that? A fig? <laughs> That's a fig plant. So, yeah, there's lots of um, botanicals. Oh my God, I feel like I was dropped on my head. <laughs> I do. I have to like search for every word today. I'm like, uh, <laughs> here's fencing. That's called a feline. <laughs> That's a really big feline, by the way. <laughs> yeah. There's the fish. Hey, that's kind of, I don't even, not even fond of fish, but that's like, like fish illustrations. That's kind of really nice actually. So, but anywho, you guys should um, absolutely be able to take these. See now, like when you're turning, there's not much illustration right there, but then you'll go through like a whole stack of pages where there's multiples on each page. So, but, um, you should be able to pull these pages out, do whatever you want with the images. These should just be a lot of fun. Yes, there's five of them, Maggie. Okay. And I'm like I said, they're just going to be random, so I'm just going to write um, five tags. These are going to be $20 a piece. Okay. One. Four, five. Anything stinky? What are you doing? What are you doing? Malcolm. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, Melanie would like one. Got it. Kathy Berg would like one. 
Got it. And Sandra Nykirk would like two. Okay, one left. That one is still available. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> I do get to keep. Oh, well, then I could fold the page. <clears throat> and we can see, then you guys will know. So there's one that was totally falling out. Is that, yes, this one was barely hung in there. Nice. Yep. I think you'll be okay. Like you Sandra almost wants to know, could she have the volume that you were showing? Who? Sandra, one of hers. Could she have the volume you were showing? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, yep. Can you put this on the me shelf over there, please? Thank you. I'll put her tag inside of that one. There we go. Yep. You got it, girly. Thank you, ladies. Okay. So, you guys want to go back to cabinet cards. You won't be disappointed in the other ones. I promise. Um, Kathy, I'll go through. Are you going to dismantle it anyway? I'll look at the one I'm keeping. If it looks like it's got better illustrations, I'll send you that one. Instead of... Um, one of the other ones, if you don't mind that the cover is already detached. Hi, Diane. Hey, Diane. <clears throat> we was looking for you. Right. You guys want to do, I've got a couple of, oh. oh. Kathy really wants the map. So she, if you have one that has the fold out, you know, map. I will make sure you get a map. Yeah. Diane, your package went out today to your brothers. Oh, so find a detached cover either. Okay, cool. Yep, I just marked you for a map, so I'll make sure you get one with a pull-out map. Janine, I don't know that I have a couple of little books. Janine is like the little book queen, I tell you. These are littler, just so you know. I mean, like, for real, they really are littler. <laughs> um, I think these are French. I looked at them earlier today, but now I don't. And they have, like, some weird blue something stuck on them that somebody else then took off. These might actually be... That might be Spanish, right? Might be Spanish. Because it was, well, it's got, here's the tricky part. It says Paris slash Mexico. Huh. I'm going to say this one is, is Spanish. Yes. I'm going with Spanish. And Rosie is agreeing, so we're going with Spanish. And then this one has, you know, some separation situation. This one is Spanish also. The dates on these are, and again, really nice paper. Look at look at the grub. You guys can't see it. Look at the grubbiness. Nice. Louise says it looks French to me. Okay. But what I know that? dos is two. I'm pretty sure it's two in Spanish. Los dos, the two something or others. I don't know. I don't know. They're both 1900. Oh, they're the same book. Wow. I did not realize at all. They are exactly oh. the same book. So we have two of them. You missed it all, Beth. Everything. Everything. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, so there's two of those. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It is Spanish. Okay. So there's two of those. Um, these had the marbled paper, the leather, um, and the marbled. And you, then, need one you can show a page up close. Yep. 
Look how cracked that one is. Wow. That's cool though. Yeah. And this one's kind of messed up here. So they both have a significant amount of wear. Look how grubby that one is. And the paper is so nice. So very nice. Is that close? Wait, let me get it really close. I think somebody pressed a flower in there. See the schmutz? Oh, yeah. I think it's Spanish, you guys. Yep. I really, really do. Pretty sure. Louise says, I had my settings wrong. I can now see clearly, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not French. Okay. The title is Two Pillars. Oh, nice. I'm wondering if there's a part one and a part two. Yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. this is part one because it says primo, and this one says secondo. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Um, so this tomes. So this is the first, this is the second. Do you guys want to do them individually or do you want to keep them together? Hmm. I'm good either way. Lorna said they're likely books made in Paris about Mexico. Oh, that makes sense. If I could read the language, I would know that, but you know, I don't. <laughs> Which Separate. is why I have on you guys, because you fill in all the blanks. What are you whining about? What? Malcolm. What? You're so silly. You're so silly. I know. Separate. Alone. Speak up. Well, for have yeah, never mind. <laughs> oh, I, can't, I can't talk either. <laughs> my tongue tied disease is infectious. Oh disease. my gosh. Holy moly. So, in all fairness, these are all both in Spanish, just so you know. And this one. I have no idea what this, this paper is absolutely amazing. Look at all the fiber in this paper. And yes, it's been wet. You can see the water line at the top and it's so oh, this paper, you guys look at it. That's all fiber. That's not schmutz. That's not, that's all those little flecks. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. In person, it is so much prettier. And it's really, really thin, but it's so nice. Mm. So nice. I absolutely love the paper in this book. Look at the color on that. You guys can't even, you can't, it just won't even pick up the darkness. It is so, this is the stuff we try to make. Yeah, it I was just gonna say, when you put that white against it, it shows yeah. up way better. It is so pretty. That's how just, that's the natural color of this paper. It isn't, it might've darkened a little bit over time, but this paper started out dark like this. It's absolutely perfect. So. Oh my um, goodness. Well, they all said, whoever answered said separate. Okay. So we are going to do, all right. I'm going to do an ABCD. Okay, so here's, this was the first one, number one. This was number two. This one, oh, and I need to measure. So these two are four and a half by seven and a quarter. They do have the leather. They both have the um, marbled paper front and back. And I don't know what this blue is because you can't really feel it. It's worn smooth. But somebody had put something blue on the corners to protect the corners, and now it's gone. And that's on both of the books. Okay? So, A, the spine is in better shape except for down here at the bottom. And B is banged up at the bottom, and it's pulling apart here at the top. Okay? 
So this one is going to be C. This one is five and a quarter wide, seven and a half tall. And there's your marbled paper. That is so pretty. It is pretty. Is so, that like yellow? Yep. Yellows and greens okay. and browns. Yep. Yeah. It's just so pretty. And then here's your leather, which at one time was a really nice mahogany kind of color leather. Then you're leafing, and then there's the back. Oops, there it is. And this is the one with that gorgeous brown paper that I was just going on and on about. And this, it's thin. It is, it is really nice, thin. It's just, it's beautiful. I absolutely love that stuff. And then this one is, this one's in probably the best shape. This one is four and a half by seven and a half. It's the, th is it the thickest? Mm, it's about the same as these two. So this one's just under an inch. It's like seven eighths thick. And there's the spine. Look how pretty that spine oh, is. Oh, that one's pretty, yeah. And then there's that one. <clears throat> And this one, again, is super, so nice. The paper on this one. See the creaminess in that one? And again, you can see all the fibers. And you can see through one page. There it is. You can see it. See how you can see the text or the, yeah, the text from the other side? Mm -hmm. it's just nice. It's not as thin as the other one, but you can feel the fiber in this one. This is that paper that has that fabric feel to it. There's so much fiber content in it. It's, it's amazing. And it's for what it is, it's thick. It's just so nice. Just really, really nice. And you get different color tones in it. Like, can you see the difference in these two pages even? Yep. It's just, I love when it's like that. So um, I'm going to do these A, B, C, D, mm -hmm. A, <clears throat> C, maybe this would be better, A, B, C. I was trying to get them all in here. There we go. I'll stair step them. There we go. And then this one will be D. These are going to be um, I'll do these for 17. 7? Seven? 17. 17. Okay. Yep. That's why I questioned it. Yep. Hmm. Oh, I'm just going to write it on here. Okay. Jennifer Jane gets C. Okay. Barbara C gets A. Barbara. What is her? Does she have a Chief. Barbara Cheetah? Chief. Chief. Got it. Natalie Randall gets a D. Got it. Um, what does that leave? B? B. Okay, let me, I know so. Okay, Lorna said any, so she'll get B. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. She wants to know what it looks like inside. Who does? Lorna would like to know what B looks like inside. It's one of the first ones, honey. It's the darker... Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it is really nice. 
<coughs> You'll be happy. Okay. <clears throat> so there's those. So now I did bring a couple of kids books. I'm just going to put them out and you guys can tell me, Oh, somebody was looking for these. Um, and I cannot, I know we discussed this a while ago, but I can't remember. This is 1947 copyright. <clears throat> Look at that. The colors in these are awesome. Wow. Yeah. And every page has the borders. Mm -hmm. And these are crazy. If you go online and look for these, the prices are all over this place. And some are like just bonkers. <laughs> but yeah, they really are beautiful. And do you see how they're different? Like this one has peacocks. This one, I don't know if they're supposed to be pumas or tire, tires, tigers, <clears throat> like, I don't know, deer, antelope, something along that line. And we have birds. Then we have cranes, I think, or flamingos, butterflies. And then we're back to the peacocks. Is that called the Rubiat? Yes. Yep. I'm wondering if Christine S. might have been asking about that book there was a there was somebody yeah it is definitely <clears throat> you're good it is pretty Lorna yeah so there's that I'm still trying to figure out who it was that wanted it and I know that um, the copyright date <clears throat> played into it for them. So no, she said not then, me. What? Christine said no, not me, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I was talking to and then there, these three, if we think we have any interest in kiddos books. And these are all this one's really nicely done. Look at that. I'll give you <clears throat> oh, Glenna said that was me. I have that one. Okay, cool. So then I, all right, perfect. Perfect. I love this book. Like, absolutely. Yes, they, they like those. Okay, there's absolutely nothing not to like about this book. Look at that. Wow. I'm really sad this is torn. Uh, but it's all but it's there. Just, so, you can, yeah, you can mend it. Yeah, mend it. It's mm -hmm. And it's blank it's on the back. It. So if you if you tape it, nobody will ever know. But like look at there's just so much detail in these. It's just crazy. Look at that. Look at the, just the border. And then, I mean, there's scrolls in there. These are just amazing. Look at this mm -hmm. one. Wow. Is that a chatterbox? Nope. No. Okay. What is your favorite flower fairy? I don't know, Becky. And there's another color one. That's pretty. Yeah. Look at here. <clears throat> oh, Show I love that eyes. picture. Yep. It's this baby one. holding the baby. And this is one of those that you're so glad that it's out of copyright. Because yeah. how do you decide? It's like, ah. Oh, I know. Crazy. I saw Queen Victoria. There's Queen Victoria in there. Yep. So this is Worthington's annual 1888. Are we doing so, these one at a time? I am doing these one at okay. a time. Worthington. And these are going to be done as an offer up. Worthington's annual. And I like that it's dated right on the front. And what is it dated? 1888. 
And just so you know, this thing is a, the book block is about to fall all the way out. It's interesting how it's coming loose, but the whole thing is the cords are still attached to the covers, but nothing else is. So it's literally just the cords holding this book together. See how loose the signature stitches are, which is why it feels so loose and wobbly is because all the signatures are coming loose from their stitching. Those images are beautiful though. Yeah, this is an absolutely beautiful book. This was gifted once to Ida in December of 1889. And then it was re-gifted to Nancy in October of 1943. I think that's wow. kind of cool. How so, long do you want this to go for? Um, we can just go two and a half on this one. Okay. Um, this one is seven and a quarter wide and I'm just measuring the, the book board. Sorry guys. Um, and it's nine inches tall and roughly an inch and a quarter thick. It's thicker at the spine than at the four edge up here. So we'll go an inch and a quarter. Okay. We're starting it at a dollar. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Wow, that is one amazing book. It is really, really pretty. <clears throat> and tons of illustrations. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Even the cover. The uh -huh. cover the picture on the cover. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Gia. I knew there was something I wanted to say. Um, <clears throat> I know she's bidding, um, but before we leave, I need to um, chat with her for a second while she's here. Okay. Hmm. Trying, Becky. I'm trying. <laughs> but here's the good news. I grab these up every time I can find them because I know you guys like them. Well, I'm going to say dibs on the next one you find. Oh, of the Worthington? Yes. Yeah. I don't find a lot of them. These are, I feel like they're one of those things. They're like a regional thing. Like there's certain things I find all the time that say Beth can't find in Tennessee, but then it'll be exactly opposite. So I don't, I haven't found too many that are Worthington's, but like these other ones coming up. Yeah. This I like the chatterbox too. Yeah. The chatterbox I find all the time, but a lot of times they're so pricey that I'm like, yeah, no. I mean, I'm not going to buy one and then bring it and be like, okay, so, you know. Yeah. Flat price, $125. I mean, mm -hmm. no, takes all the fun out of it. Becky, my favorite color is lavender. So if there's a lavender flower fairy, that would be my favorite. Oh, there is a lavender <laughs> flower fairy. Just saying. Huh? There he is. Okay, let's see who got this. Ooh, Christine S. for $40. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Christine. Do you want to grab Gia now or? Yes. Hmm. Gia, um, I have your box ready to go. Do you want me to go ahead and figure out the shipping and let you know, and we'll go ahead and ship, and then we'll start a new box, or do you want me to wait? Whichever you want, dear. Okay, so now I can just watch for her answer. Yes. So this is the next one. How pretty is that? That's pretty too. Ah, it's so springy. Um, 
So this one, and again, I'm just going to measure the book board. This one is <clears throat> seven and a half by just, mm, we're going to call it 10, but it's more like 10 and an eighth. And then almost an inch thick. Here's the back. And it's green. It's kind of coming across like a tannish color, but it's like a tannish green. This is a real faded sea foamy sort of green color. So there really is a little bit of green in this. And this one was gifted Christmas of 1899. And you start right out the gate with this litho print. Isn't that pretty? Yep. Look at that. Wow. But here's the situation. See down here where it's wanting to crack right there? I'm not going to force it. This paper is pulpy. It's a kid's book. It was made out of, um, I don't, it's hard to explain. It is very pulpy, but it has got the most interesting texture. And I don't know. You can still see the, hang on. <clears throat> there it is. You guys see that? what you guys can see right there. I can feel. So it has like this crazy texture where they pulled it up out of the screen around every single page. Like over here, it almost looks like basket weave down here in the corner. See it? Oh yeah. Isn't that cool? Yep. So I can feel all of that, which is really mm. cool but you don't really feel the indent or the text. So this is definitely a drier, um, pulpier paper. I would be pretty hesitant. I mean, if I was gonna stick this in like coffee or tea or something, I would definitely do it with a page. I didn't care if I didn't get back because I don't think it's gonna take it very well. Um, I think it would be great for collage. I think it would be amazing like this. They would be great cover images they would be awesome as turnable pages as is if they're not um especially if they were in the center where there's no strain on it well maybe not the center because the stitching might pull through but anywho um mm -hmm. probably the, like you know what i mean the second page from the center of a folio yeah signature um the text font is a little bit larger but um this it just has lots and lots of images i just think they're really cool like look at that one wow and you can totally scan and print any of this to your little heart <clears throat> you want. and you're gonna get and see these are dark too so you're yeah you're gonna get that instant aging like, look at these little ones dressed up like kings and queens. It's just so cute. Aww. Before I forget, Gia says it's okay to ship. Okay. Cool beans. And Glynis is asking, could you fill my box before starting the new one? Yep, -er, I can do it. So that's this one. And it's just going to be tons and tons. Yeah. Wow. This is another one. You know, if you want, if you want stuff <clears throat> in print, you know, this is a great one. But again, I don't typically scan from these books. I just use what I, the originals. Because these I find pretty easily. They're usually in pretty bad condition. This one's pretty nice. You're doing offer ups on all three, right? Yep. Okay. I'll put this in. Yeah. Okay. So, but I love this. I think this would be a beautiful cover. Yeah, that's really pretty. I absolutely love that. See, I always want them just for the covers. I'm like, oh, I'm going to scan that cover, and then I don't want to take it apart just for the cover. Oh. 
And then we'll look at the chatterbox. <clears throat> and what I think we are probably going to wrap up. But hang tight till we finish up because I have a question. Some of you I may send in two packages too, like these books, especially these bigger ones, they're heavier. So you guys may be getting two packages. I think it might be more uh, efficient that way. <clears throat> There's the 30 seconds. Okay, that's going to Kendall for $119. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was a mistake. It's going to Kendall. You, if you could have seen me, my head just about snapped off my shoulder. I was like, excuse me? Why? <laughs> yeah, she retracted it. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Cool beans. Thank you, Kendall. Thanks, you yeah, guys. Kendall, that's a beautiful book. Okay. So I had a thought while I was sitting here. I know you guys like these mini ones and we normally do these for $3 a piece. I was thinking if you guys are okay with random, you are going to get men. I will mix them up as much as I can. I'm not going to send somebody for boring men pictures that they don't want, but just know that you are going to get at least one man photo, maybe two. Um, but I will try to give everybody a nice one of, you know, a nice feminine one that we like and a kiddo if there's enough of them. Do you know what I mean? I'll use the men ones last, if that makes sense. Um, but I was thinking, I could <clears throat> these, if you're okay, random, I'll do four for $10. And I'll just do a list. But these are the little... Um, and this is an average size, you guys. They're not all exactly the same size. They're like just short of two and a half wide by, we're going to say four inches tall. Yeah, I love that size. I do too. But I'm just going to do a running list and then I'll just put it with these. And then I'll just go, and I'm going to say I can do 10. I'll commit to 10 because I feel like I can get a nice assortment with what I have here out of that. Okay, so how, how many for how much? You'll get four four of them for $10. And um, I may bring in some of these. Um, they're kind of odd-sized ones, but if, if I need them to give you guys an assortment that I'm happy with, you know what I mean? I'm not going to send you something I wouldn't want. Or you might get this little bit bigger square one with her in it or something like that. Are these, cabinet, these are cabinet cards, right? Yep, they're cabinet cards, yep. Okay. And... Four for ten dollars. Yep. Ten random. So I should probably say put them in a set. Just say how many sets you want. Yes, yeah, so like if you put in two, then you're getting two sets. Okay, I wait to 
make yep. sure they hear that before I. Yeah, and I'm, only doing, I'm only committing to 10. If I have more than that, I'll bring them back Thursday and let you guys know what I have left. All right, I'm going to put it in now. I think it's okay. Kurt Vista. <laughs> All right, let me check. Okay, Glennis will take a set. Got it. Renee Jensen. Got it. Kendall would like three sets. Okay. Lenny P would like one set. Got it. Lori F. would like a set. Okay. Lucy D. Okay. Kathy Berg. Okay. Gia. Okay, Gia, I'm going to add those to your box, honey. Um, let me have the next two people just, just in case. Okay. Diane D. Okay. And Karen Thompson's asking for two. Okay. Karen, I will try. We'll see. Okay. Because you two, you and Diane are on the maybe list. So um, just watch your invoice. Okay. All right. Cool. Thanks, ladies. <clears throat> I don't know why I never thought of that sooner. But yeah, there's, I have literally like a few, right? There were a couple more after Karen. Okay. Um, hang on one second. I'll write it down because you know what I'll do, Mags? I'll write down, I'll put asterisks by them. That way I know. Okay. And, ouch. Lori, they, got, Lori got one, Kendall. That way, um, if they see it on their invoice. But again, I'm not going to, if you don't get it, it's because I didn't have enough non-male yeah. photos. Does that make sense? Because I, But I know a lot of these are male photos. Okay, so we got Gia for one, correct? Yes, and then okay. Diane, and then Diane D, and then Karen. Karen wanted two. Yeah. And Okay, so the only other one I'm seeing now, because Gia must have put it in twice, is Eileen Lyons wanted two. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> And Lucy says, I'm okay with all guys and maybe one kiddo. Kendall wants the handsomest men you can find. Get in line, girl. Get in line. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Pretty happy with the one I actually have, so, you know. But, you know, the he's image one. What? He's a keeper. Yeah, he is. Okay, so the chatterbox is the last one. And it's seven inches wide by nine and, oh, this ruler is such a mess. I'm going to say nine and three quarters. Somebody remind me when I go shopping to get a new ruler. <clears throat> Um, an inch tall. So most of you are familiar with Chatterbox. Here's the back. This has seen obviously some moisture. It's, you know, it's come through, but it hasn't like molded and it hasn't affected anything. But look at these. Wow. Oh gosh, these illustrations in these are just, they're just endless, absolutely endless. Then you've got color ones. They're just, ugh, so pretty. And this one is um, copyright 1910 or print date 1910. Mm -hmm. So you're good to go. 
And keep in mind, I'm flipping multiple pages, so you're not going to see <clears throat> everything. So look at the color in those. Yeah, those are cool. They're so detailed. Incredibly detailed. And this is nice paper. Um, you're going to be able to, I feel like you can dip this. Um, it's just, it's really nice. It's stable. It's in good shape. You can see the stitchings are still holding in the signatures. It's just, just really nice. These are quality, you know, kids books that were meant to last, except for the coloring. I don't know who that little kid is that colored, but you know, except for the coloring for Pete's sake. And then look at uh, the title page is always my favorite. Always, always love it. Wow, look at that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love <clears throat> it. And there's all the copyrights. Wow. That one being 1910. And the index always has like all the color plates, all the engraved plates, all the illustrations. It has all of them listed out in the, in the contents, table of contents, index. Ah, they're playing football. Well passed. <laughs> Wonder if it's football or rugby. <clears throat> Look at that one. Isn't that cute? Oh. Uh. So, anywho, I'm going to flat price this one. Flat oh, okay. Well, yep. me... I know you expected me to go the other way. I changed I my mind. I did expect you to go the other way. You asked me and I said I was, but I changed my mind. Um, I'm going to flat price it. I got a pretty good price on this one. So, I'm just going to do this one for 40 Okay. Oh, what happened at Lucy's? What? Oh, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, okay, something I see. Happened. Janine something asked her, she said, hope all was okay. And I was like, wait, what? And it was because she got her package. So that makes sense. Okay. It's, whoa, you could have sold the boat. Chatterboxes are one of those things. <laughs> Either you like them or you don't. Okay. Christine's hand stuck on the me. <laughs> 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 or finger, I should say. But the first one after my go is Paula Fowler. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Thank you, right, ladies. Paula. Thanks, Paula. So I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, Let's see here. So, Janine, don't throw rocks. The only reason I didn't do mini book, mini minis, is because this is kind of the only one I have, and it's still not really that many. Um, I'm looking for them. <clears throat> I have a pile of um, school readers that we can do um, Thursday, but that was the question I wanted to ask you guys is, look at this cover. I love this cover. Oh, that's I'll really pretty. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Megs. No, I was saying that's really pretty. Oh, okay. Um, I'll bring these back um, Thursday. But I wanted to ask you guys, like, what do you guys think you want to look at um, Thursday? Do you want, like, textiles? I have, um, oh, my gosh, I have so many quilt squares, you guys, but they're cool. They're quilted. Um, and they were tops. Quilt top. Mm -hmm. So they're not like that was dumb. They're pieced. Yeah. They're not quilted. She's a little. Do I you guys think you would want them? Huh? I just put in Thursday question mark okay. to see if 
anybody has any idea what they're looking for. Gotcha. Um, I just don't know if I should do them individually. Readers are nice. I thought you might be after those, Jody. They're kind of your thing. Um, would you want the squares separately or in bundles? Like, do you know what I mean? Like each pack would have one of each. And I still have quite a few of the um, quilt packs from um, the whole Black Friday week. So I was thinking I could bring those back out Thursday too. If you guys want to do some textile stuff, we could look at those again. Christine would like a dibs on the next chatterbox you find. Okay. Kathy Berg says bundles. Natalie says quilt blocks. They're blocks and, and they're, I cut one or two of them down. But <clears> one of them I found already cut. Because these other vendors, like at different stores, are figuring out that we prefer them already cut up. Becky's asking if they're blocks or the tops. Yeah, I'm grabbing them to show you. Okay. So, like, there's this one, which is the Dresden plate. Because the Dresden plate is the rounded one, right, you guys? And the one with... the there's, aren't they two different names? Dresden is rounded like that, more scallop, but there's one that's more pointy. I forget what it's called. It's something else. Um, then there's... That's, those are pretty. Yeah. And then these are from a different one, and they're just the fabric. But, but it's flower sack fabric and it's plain white flower sack fabric. So I was like, that's gold. Cause of course we want that. Then there's a couple of you that I think are going to like this. These are primitive. This one was already cut up into the different squares, but this oh, is would make uh, cool covers. Yeah. These are super, super primitive. Um, and then, but see, what I want to know is if you guys want them separate or if you want me to put them in bundles, because I can put them in bundles and have them ready to go. Then there's the Sunbonnet Sue's. Oh, Kathy yeah. and Eileen both said bundles. Okay. These were already broke down. I didn't cut this one up. This is the one I cut up. This, this is the one that went with these. Oh, that's different. Yeah, and this is a yellow and blue cross stitch. Yeah, they're all saying bundles. Okay, so I will go ahead and bundle them, and I'll try to get as many. Do you want this plain in there also, or do you want me to leave these separate? Because I can go either way with that. I don't care. If and the work gets too high, Janine says, Patty, please invoice and send my items. Thank you so much. You're welcome, honey. You will get invoice tomorrow. Um, Natalie, I'll go ahead and get yours worked up, but hang, don't pay yours right away till I see if I get, um, wait till Thursday, Natalie, mm -hmm. till I see if I find that parchment paper on Wednesday. Okay. Kathy says, yes, the plane in two. Okay. And then this one is, um, more primitive also. I don't think it's like super old, but I feel like this is leftover um clothing do you know what i mean like this feels like uh oh yeah like they might have taken you know yeah. shirts or yes because this yeah. is like a wool blend this is like a polyester this is cotton this is almost crazy quilt style do you know what i mean because crazy mm -hmm. quilt was all scraps and all different fabrics and this is a poly blend of some sort i don't know what that is but then you've got cottons and then this is a cotton, but they all have this red and it looks like lightning bolts <laughs> in the red, but they're just really cute. And I think a couple of these have a name on them also. So yeah, I'll go ahead and put, if, if that's the predominant, oh my goodness, predominant. <laughs> Good Lord. I'm putting alcohol in my coffee. On Thursday. Maybe it will work better. For Pete's sake. Eileen <laughs> says plain by themselves. And Sandra says plain and flower sack separate. 
So good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that. I might leave the white ones separate. I really might leave these separate and then we'll do all the quilts together. That way I feel like mm -hmm. I kind of met everybody part way. Yeah. Oh, wait, who said plane? Um, I remember Kathy Berg had said the plane. But she wanted them mixed in. Who wanted them separate? Oh, Sandra just says plane and have them separate from the flower sack. Okay, gotcha. So. And Eileen said plain by themselves. Okay. Eileen, I have a separate piece that I'll let you know about. I'll stick your name on it till Thursday. It was a border piece. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to leave this here because I think they're pretty. So, but yeah, we'll do the quilts. We'll do a few books. Um, I don't know what else we'll do. We'll see. I may bring those other quilt bundles back out. Maybe we'll do some Build-A-Bundles. I don't know. You guys think about it. And let me know what you think. You want to oh, San Sorry. Sandra said no. Plain and flower sack separate from the patterns. Ah, gotcha. I don't, okay. I don't think I have other than just these plain squares. Mm -hmm. But Sandra, I will put you and Eileen down. Um, yeah, Eileen wants them to embroider on. I thought so. Yeah, I've got I've got a couple of these pieces over here that were borders. So these are going to be like oddball sizes. I'll put some of these plain, and I'm going to put um, Eileen and um, Sandra's name on those, so they'll get nice. Dibs on. So we'll give them dibs on those, and then I can put the other ones in with the bundles also. Okay. Good night, Jody. Good night, Jody. Thank you, Sandra. Eileen first dibs. Okay. Just See, it's not very often I can cool. try to make everybody happy. You didn't say that the flower sack pieces were plain, did you? Yes, the flower sack. Oh, you did. Plain. Yes, but see, this this is flower sack also, and then a lot oh. of yeah, and a lot because see, there's they know that a lot of these prints are flower sacks, so that's where the confusion came in. Okay. Yeah, a lot of these prints will be flower sacks also. These are going in the bundles. I'm not going to do these. I'm not if I'm if I'm doing the quilt squares separate, then they're all going to be separate. If I'm bundling them, then I'm putting them all in. Um if there's random ones left over, then I may make one giant bundle and we'll figure out what to do with it. So, makes sense? Yes. Okay. So perfect sense. All righty. All right, you guys. Thank you very much. Everybody be happy. Do something really fun. And if it's really super fun, send me a message and let me know. <laughs> <laughs> then I can either like be like all excited for you or I'll just sit here and pout and be jealous. You know, one or the other. But yeah. So we will, I'll be doing invoices tomorrow probably afternoon and catching up the last few on wednesday and we will see you guys all back here thursday i was waiting for you max <laughs> oh sorry good night everyone <laughs> good night you guys <laughs>